fuck, there we go, go live. Good, welcome YouTube Labs. Uh, also, wait a minute. <laughs> Probably go uh, starting off a stream on YouTube with go, go go fuck fuck fuck. It's probably not the best. It will probably get flagged or something. Ah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Good, 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 good. All right, all right. Pop that out over there. Move you over there. Gross is all here. Uh, YouTube chat is over there. Let's also give Megatron a reboot. That's also good to do. Excellent. That's going in, that's going in. <laughs> Just have to say good, good, good. More often you say for, for the fox. Yes. Uh, I mean, if the good outweigh the fox. What the fuck? <laughs> good, good. All right. All right. Um, I think we got everything. Let me just have like a little sip over here. Ah, and then one more, and then we were good to go. Ah, nom 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 nom. <laughs> Put you in that corner, please. All right, here we go. Good evening, Twitch, and welcome back to Factorio. It's been like two days. <laughs> Have there been any updates? No. There was an update to the base game. Um, I did not put in the update for the base game yet. Um, usually it's fine, but I was like, let's just wait for a day and see if something stupid happens. If nothing stupid happens, we're going to update. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Mm -hmm. Off we go, off we go. Does it seem broken this time? Yeah, I, I read the patch notes. It looked all fine. Uh, but then again, we, we're not really in any hurry to patch. We're also not in any need to patch. We should patch. We're just going to wait for a day. We're going to see if, if anything pops up. If nothing pops up, we're going to patch. There we go. There we go. Good. Welcome back, everybody. Um, I let the game run for quite a bit today because, um, yeah, we are on the cusp of nuclear power, which is good because we do need more power. Because uh, while I was letting the, run, uh, the game run yesterday and while I was building stuff on the base, um, we kind of had a brownout again. So I doubled down the power plant. <laughs> and I thought to myself, what the fuck? Another coal power plant? Like another one? We can't be relying on coal all this time, all the time. I mean, this coal power is really, really good. It does do the trick. It will fire up six of these turbines over here, which is really, really good. But but we can't just keep on copying and pasting more coal power down. Um, I was also thinking about doing that oil power thing, but the big problem is uh, we're still kind of kind of lacking red circuits and stuff like that. As such, yeah, we've not even made a single oil power plant over here yet, nor did we have made a single gas power plant yet, because things are just not coming in fast enough. As for the coal power plants, we had a couple of them in storage, so I thought to myself, you know what? Um, let's just double down the coal power. And at least now, power is more than fine. However, I did also pick up a couple of the diet beacons that were sitting around um, for some other places. We might end up working on those as well. Um, for example, I did pick up the diet beacons all the way over here uh, where we're making, well, not for advanceable parts, but definitely I picked them up for the motor making over here. Then again, we do have 29,000 electric motors in storage over here. Which is absolutely great, and the shafts over here are working like a charm. But yeah, this place over here still needs to be power gated. This place over here still needs to be uh, beaconized. But for now, since nobody's really picking up these motors yet, uh, I thought to myself, let it sit like this for a bit, and then once we are ready to go for it, we will go for that. And so you're saying that power is not unlimited. Um, hmm. How to put this? Power is definitely unlimited, but the power we have available at any point in time can be limited. Let's put it like that. <laughs> good, 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 good. Um, but yeah, power at this moment is, is fine. But I do kind of want to kick down power even more. And we are going down the path of nuclear processing. Now, nuclear processing, this probably still requires a couple of prerequisites. Also, this tech alone opens up like all of this stuff which I think we might all need. We might not all need. I actually have no clue how nuclear fuel works in Pyanodon yet because we've never built it before. 
And I do know that there's a whole bunch of fuel recycling and fuel washing in there uh, to make things come back to itself. And there's also some way to make power out of all of this. Um, yes! On the plus side, and that's actually something I was kind of surprised by, uh, this whole nuclear power setup over here, I don't think it even requires a single red circuit. <laughs> the neutron moderator over here, that's basically basic components. The neutron absorber over here is also just very basic components, not even mechanical parts mark 2 or anything like that. It's all basically stuff we have infinite of. As well as the nuclear reactor mark 1 is also, even though it is a lot, basic stuff. I think the most complex thing in here is, I think, the Niobium pipe. <laughs> Nuclear one kind of sucks. Well, it did change it up a bit, and we will have to take a look at it, what we can do over here. The particle accelerators over here are probably going to be the things that are going to be messing us up the most. Um, and I'm not quite sure what we have to make yet. There are so many things in here that need to be handled, that need to be moved around, that need to go somewhere that we will have to see how it goes. And if Pi 2 is anything like Pi 1 fuel, uh, it's a brain twister. In Pi 1, nuclear processing of the nuclear fuel was a lot of fun. Uh, it was a very, very straightforward... Um, 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 how to put it? It was not really... It, it was... Uh, what's the term for it again? Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Differential equation, yes. It was a very straightforward differential equation for um, uh, nuclear processing in Pi Science 1 or in Pi 1 or in the previous version of Pi, uh, which led up with a really, really nice solution. Like, like once you figure the whole thing out and you see, like, the solution in front of you and that everything is actually perfectly balanced, you got this really, really nice solution at the end, which I really did enjoy. Uh, for Pi now, nuclear power processing? No clue. <laughs> Absolutely no clue. However, I do know a couple things that we are going to need. And we are definitely going to need these coated containers. We're definitely going to need things like advanced coating. Uh, we're definitely going to need Kytosan. Maybe let's just start working on Kytosan. Because Kytosan is also part in... Oh boy, that's also a whole bunch of stuff in here. <laughs> oh no, what have I started? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Yeah, Kytosan is... Let's just have a look at this one here. We don't need a tech tree for that. There we go. There it is. Kyto. Also, why is my... Stop, stop, stop copy-pasting stuff. There we go. Kytosan. There we go. Oh, the fun of Industrial Diamonds. Industrial Diamonds is already done. Uh, Industrial Diamonds is already sitting all the way over here. Uh, and we're backed up on diamonds, so that's not really that much of an issue. This place is also ready to be beaconized. Uh, it used to have beacons in the past, but we took them out because, well, there was no reason to. Um, so diamonds is already done. We don't need to worry about diamonds. Diamonds, diamonds is easy. Um, and if we need more of this, we just copy-paste it down. I'm, I'm very happy with the diamond solution we came up with over here. Um, as it basically does not even produce that much sand. I don't even think we produce... Do we even produce sand? Um, I don't even think this whole thing over here is even producing any sand. That was a big issue in the previous version in Pi, where we went down the, the path of recipes that made, like, all the sand, and we had to handle sand all the time. But this time around, diamonds over here is absolutely great, and I do enjoy it. And the only thing we need to do over here is to speed this whole place up with some beacons. Um, that's the only downside I remember. I think we did actually end up building uh, a little bit of pipes in some of the uh, beacon spots over here. So that's something we will need to fix here. Yeah, there, there's, there's, <laughs> there should be a beacon over here. But to be perfectly honest, we can easily fix that. It's, it's just like a little bit of moving stuff around and stuff like that. That's nothing too hard to do once we need to do it. Code Red! Hello there! Welcome, welcome, welcome! As for Kyphon, um, we do need to work on the bees at some point in time. We could maybe just start off by butchering some bees. Do we get brains from bees? That's a good question. Um, we still got the old butchery. Where's that thing even? It's all the way over there. <coughs> Do bees have brains? Bees have no brains. All right, good to know. Good to know. Good to know. Bigger beacons. At some point in time, we do get bigger beacons, but that's a whole other other problem. Sadly, we can't combine builds that use the bigger beacons and the smaller beacons in the same build. Because the bigger beacons, I mean, the smallest beacons we use have like a range of one which basically means you have to build the building adjacent to the beacon. And the bigger beacons are basically one size up of the smaller beacons, which will basically take in that, that range. So, yeah. 
That kind of sucks. But yeah, one of our good sources of Kyphon is of course bees, because bees make Kyphon. Bees also make things like 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 Venom, which we are out of, which is also kind of interesting because we are... Oh, I think I... Yeah, I broke these belts. <laughs> we should definitely uh, butcher these bees somewhere else, because we are always making bees, and we do need those bees somewhere butchered. And of course, the other place where we can get a whole bunch of Kyphon from is from the rocks over here. And we also have a whole bunch of these in storage. And it used to be that this is our latex place. There is also a decent amount of latex. Is there something we can do with formic acid? Like something else we can do with formic acid. Like, like maybe something like, the, like a sink recipe or something like that. Because we are going to be getting... Oh yeah, we can always turn formic acid in just more ammonia or something like that. <laughs> that could work. Um, we, I mean, we do have some recipes out there that do require formic acid. That is great. And we're going to get some more in the future. Zumra cocoons, pre-fiber starch recipe is also there. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's not too bad that we that we try to export the stuff, but I can already see it happening that um, the rock production over here will get backed up because we are just sitting on too much formic acid. Now, there's another thing we could do. We could just make like a big tank and try to store as much as we can, but yes. And now the bigger beacons is more modules and transmission efficiency? No, not really. The, or the bigger beacons, the bigger beacons are definitely, well, the bigger beacons are bigger, of course, of course they are. Uh, where the fuck are they? There they are. There we go. So we got the small beacon over here. And then we got the big beacon over there. And yeah. I mean, these over here definitely hold more modules. I think they also have like a... They also have a higher base power consumption and stuff like that. They will definitely will be better in the future. But yeah, for now, the diet beacons are more than fine enough. Good, good, good. And there, Pumu. Hello there. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, all right. But yeah, we do need to do something with this piece over here, especially with the Arquat Venom. Because the Arquat Venom, even though we still have a little bit over here in storage, but only a little bit, uh, the Arquat Venom is required for science. In this case, it's required for Pi Science 2. Which currently is not really doing much because output full, ingredient shortage. What are you missing now? You're missing whatever is on this half belt. And on this half belt is missing... Flasks. Ah, yeah. Do we not have that one one train no more? Did we did we abandon that one? I guess we did. And this place over here, the more it breaks down, the less I like it over here. Let's maybe start with something easy. Um, I mean, we do have the new glass place over here, and we can easily make like a couple one one stations over here for the old things that still want like flasks out of a one one train to get flask from over there. I don't really want to wedge in a 2A train station in here somewhere because there is just no space for that. <laughs> this already is a nightmare on requesters. Um, yeah, let's just maybe get that 1-1 train going real quick. Good, 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 good. And Megatron dislikes beans now? Wait, he now also dislikes them? Or did you? No, he always disliked beans. You've just been spamming that list with beans nonstop, man. <laughs> I mean, it does take a lot of dedication because you can only do like one of those redeems per, per per person per stream. So for the last seven or eight, well, I can check. I can check. And Twitch is suggesting you use the Megatron hates reward. Should I do Megatron hates Twitch? Go for it, man. Go for it. Here we go. Here we go. Megatron loves the bees. We all love the bees. All right, all right. And we're just flying over. By the way, <laughs> good that we're over here right now. Um, remember how this place over here was like completely and utterly empty and devoid of um, sodium hydroxide? Well, not anymore, it's not. It's now completely full. <laughs> it's almost the same with sodium hydroxide. Like, like one moment you look at it and all your buffers are full to the max. And then probably at the end of the stream, when we come back to it, it's probably completely empty. <laughs> There's probably nothing going to be left in there. That base, how do you remember where the, where, where's what where? Um, 
I only rarely forget where something is. It, in the previous space, it happened like twice. <laughs> um, we should also start continue working on the fish. I just remembered. I, I was doing the transition over here of these stations into two H stations. That's maybe something we want to continue on as well. Let's do the glass first, and then we can work on this real quick. You still buffer the stuff mine went on, on demand after you got the salt recipe? Um, well, the thing is, for the acetylene, we don't really want to waste the acid, the slaked lime. And so instead of wasting the slaked lime, we turn it into sodium hydroxide. Here we go. Now, was this always broken like this? I guess it was. Old, old nuke scars. That's fine, that's fine. We don't really need to fix this, because there's probably nothing after this, but now it's fixed. Now we don't lose any bottles over there. There we go. Good. Jump down over here. Uh, pom, 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 pom. Well, let's move you over a little bit. There we go. And then we just make like a station over here somewhere. Doesn't really matter where. It's going to be a 1-1 station, so we're just going to make a station for by hand real quick. I don't have any 1-1 stations uh, as a blueprint ready to go. But yeah, I mean... Um, I mean, I, I've made everything myself in the space, so I do know where shit is. It, it's like having a messy desk. Like, if you ever seen, like, an engineer with a messy desk, and you ask him, like, why is the desk so messy, and how do you know where shit is, he he will tell you, I know exactly where there, where there are three paper clips in my desk. There's, like, one over there, there's one over there, and there's one over there, and he will be right every damn time. And it's basically the same over here. The base might look messy as fuck, but I do know where shit is, man. <laughs> All right. More glass coming out. You have a messy desk and you don't find anything? Good! <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Do we need... Uh, we can probably... We can use the same signal over here. We can use the exact same signal. Let's maybe use the big boy poles for this one. Yeah, something like this. Something like that. We're gonna need one of these boys over there. We're gonna name you. Justin. No, your name is not Justin. Justin... It's a fine name. Uh, <laughs> Flask. Mm. Flask, 1-1 one, one provider, please. There we go. This station over there where you are? Shut it down. But we can't even shut it down. Well, we can. Connect it to the network and shut it down. Good. Bring those flasks somewhere. I don't care. Just, just get the fuck out of here. Good, 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 good. Then we can also put down some fuel. Because we should also put down some fuel, which is also a thing we have not really done anywhere over here so let's put down some fuel as well let's make sure that we can also get some rubble port access over here here we go that will be fine as well excellent we got a signal over here we got a signal over there and then the only thing that's missing is going to be the decision when we're going to open up the station uh which also means we need to set the limit over here we're going to copy paste you over and we're going to set you to 2000 wait 2000 that's a bit optimistic um they stack up to 100, so a shipment over here is going to be 1,000, uh, 16,000, there we go. 2,000 over here is actually correct. And I think we've got the same issue over here with you. Yeah, you got the same issue. There we go. And you over there will probably also have the same issue. We're still not making any boron tubes over here. Uh, we will probably make them over here soon. Good, 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 good. All right, with this, the flask at least are working again. And they actually brought the flask over to where they are required right now. To where the science is being made over here so that's gonna be fine as well something else i did to kind of speed up the research progress a little bit is uh where is our science place there we go uh i did upgrade to the mark ii vat brain cartridges over here uh this does mean that we're eating through our brains faster but then again we eat through double the amount of brains for double the amount of productivity bonus so i guess it will even itself out over time big problem right now is we out of brains there are, like, no more brains in the base at the moment in time. Or there are brains in the base. But there's not enough brains around here that we can actually send the train. Because this lad over here, there's 4,400 brains in there. Well, let's maybe make use of them here. Bring them over. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. But yeah, brain production is going at a rate of currently 2 per second over there. 1 per second over there. We're not butchering any orcs because... Are we, do we just not have any orcs? What's with the orcs? Oh, we actually stopped making orcs? Why is that? Um, you're missing shit. 
you're missing this shit. You're missing food. Ah. And food is probably going slow because I took the beacons out. <laughs> because we had power issues. Oops. Um, yeah, we we're going to have to put those in there as well. We can't actually put those in via remote. So let's put you in over there. Give you like an AM and an FM of 5. And then put in some speed modules. Make a copy out of this. There we go. Yeah, because we had some power issues, I, I kind of took out a whole bunch of beacons out of everywhere. Especially in places where we did not really do much balancing yet. There we go. Yeah, because these over here were always on, then we still need to put down some kind of mechanism over here that we basically stop using these beacons over here. Um, but that will be for later. It's, it's not... It is important, but it's not that important. And now that we at least have a little bit more power uh, to available to us, at least we can now also try to make um, things over here a little bit faster. Good. Nevertheless, we can already send you maybe to the requester, which is going to be over there. No, 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 no. I, I want some butchery goodness. I mean, we can either turn stuff into poop or we can turn stuff into brains. Um, I do prefer brains over poop. Definitely brains over poop. But where the fuck are we? We are all over there and you need to be all the way over there. Good, 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 good. Off you go. Have fun over there. All right. All right. Perfect. Then, glass over here will be done as well. The same logic as the connected outgoing station. Um, but keep going till two loads. Wait, what? I mean, we don't have any stackers. We can't really order in more trains than one. And I don't really want to place any stackers because stackers just cost a lot of space, which do help with the flow of the base over the beacons. The same logic as connected out. No, 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 no. We were using a different uh, logic there. For the beacons, we have a little bit more of an elaborate logic over here. Where we just have a whole bunch of levels. And if everything is within a certain level, we basically open up the power switch. And to notice what kind of level it's going to be, we have to notice how much we have in these deposits. And that can be a whole range of things. Because these deposits sometimes get side-loaded. Sometimes get side-unloaded. Sometimes other stuff happens. And yes... Now, they, they require a bit more logic. And if we would only go by, by means of the stations, um, like... Yeah, I mean, you would still need every logic of every station still. So it would still be the same. And I also don't really want to contaminate this logic over here. Because there's already way too much data going over here. Nah, nah, we're just putting down some other RS latches. Latches are perfectly fine for this. All right, all right, all right, perfect. Well then, um, if we go down Kytosan, Kytosan, yes, then we do need to butcher more stuff. Did we also take out the beacons over here? No, those beacons are still there. Excellent. Um, now let's just copy over. Let's just copy over one of these. Yeah, make make a big big copy. There we go. Take out the things we don't want, like this stuff over here. Uh, we can take out more later on if we need to. The important part is that we are going to be taking out the phones, the things that we don't need right now. Like this belt over here, like this over there, like this over here. The cage belt is going out. We definitely don't have any bone meal over here, so that's going out as well. There we go. There might not be any fat on here or maybe any other stuff in here, so we will still be taking out even more belts over here. Let's maybe also take out this and that and this so that we have don't have any kind of weird cross contamination. And this power pool because it's 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 ugly. It's ugly. And retail signal of uh, under one, turn on the beacons if equal over to two, then turn on what you were thinking. Yeah. No, that will not work. Because the moment, I mean, we also check inputs and how to put it, like, if the input is satisfied and no trains will be coming in, then that signal will be off. It will work for output signals, but we also want to check the input signals because we only want to be running the beacons or everything in the base if we have, or not in the base, but everything in the production bracket. If we have enough input to make stuff and enough space in the output to make stuff. So it does need to be a little bit more elaborate. Good, 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 good. 
All right. All right. We're backing up on Guts again. That's fine as well. Uh, we might also want to swivel in. Yeah, we should swivel in Guts over here into the generic biomass output as well. Good. 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 All right. All right. In fact, over-engineering can kill projects. Yep. And under-engineering can kill projects as well. Both are equally true. Good. Are we close to the butchery? We are very close to the butchery, so let's get over there. And actually, before we go over there, we do need to export these bees. There we go. Where the fuck are they? They were actually going to be flying past them right over here. So we're used to, to, to butcher the bees over here. That's no longer going to be the case. And I guess we're going to export them over there. Because that's already where we export the horses. We might as well export the bees over there as well. Off we go. And bum, 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 to a provider, please. There we go. I still need to figure out if Python can kill a specific EXO instance and open up uh, with a file name. You can definitely open up one with a file name, and I mean, you can definitely kill any kind of process. I mean, Python can do system calls, and once you can do system calls, you can do basically whatever the fuck you want. Here we go, here we go. That over there, that over there. Let's bring in the bees. So, where, where's the bee belt? You can get the file name, but not the, uh, the, the process ID. Um, well, you probably can't get through the process ID via the file name unless the process is holding the file open. That might be the case. But then again, um, you're probably talking Windows, and I've got no fucking clue about Windows. <laughs> I don't give a rat's ass about Windows problems. Here we go. Here we go. Good, good, good. This way we go. Mm. And if you somehow manage to use Excel in Linux, then that that's a whole other problem. I don't give a fuck about that either. <laughs> good, 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 good. All right. Yeah, let's go on here. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Pick up these. Up we go. It's only a yellow belt, which of course is a bit sad. Wait a minute. We are exporting rocks. Are we exporting rocks in a 2A train? In a 1-4 train? That means we can import them as well and also butcher them in our new butchery. Here we go. Can we can we make this? Oh. Hold on. Over here we go. And done. Done 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 done. Good, 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 good. Yeah, it seems we are already exporting the rocks over here. Let's have a look at that. If we don't need to set it up, that's even better. Um the rock production. Where is it again? It's <laughs> it's over here. <laughs> yeah, it's going into a 1 4 train, and we are backed up on rocks as well. Do rocks get us brains? No, they don't. We already checked, didn't we? These are. No, no, they do give us brains. Perfect. I do love brains. I'll take your brains. Brains, 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 brains. I did an automation at work, and people are starting to complain about having to manually close and open the file. Ungrateful bastards. Well, but then it's not an automation, is it? Then it's just like automation with an extra step, which is basically manual work again. <laughs> All right. Hackenpluff. No, 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 no. You're going to be a provider? A 2.8 provider? A 2.8 provider of what's going to be? Mm, bees. Arquats. Here we go. Are you a zombie? Brains, brains, brains. We are definitely zombifying things over here. Actually, are zombies a thing in, in Pyanodons? 
Actually, they are. Wait a minute. W wasn't there something in, in the third system about zombies? Or am I misremembering it entirely? Or was I thinking about something else entirely? Maybe I'm thinking about Stellaris. <laughs> There's definitely zombies in Stellaris. <laughs> uh, I've been playing too many games parallel lately, which is great. A lot of fun, but also a bit like, what the fuck? <laughs> mm, when uh, will be fine. No, I think that was somewhere else. Good. All right. Bees are coming in. So we can now order in the bees over here. If we make a train for that, let's make a train for that real quick. There we go. You over there. Fish posh. And then bloop, off we go. <laughs> Megatron is a zombie tamer. <laughs> I mean, in some kind of post-post-apocalyptic world where the zombie apocalypse has happened and has been contained, there's probably going to be a circus around where people are going to be like, making zombies do stuff like they used to do with lions. <laughs> and maybe, maybe out there, in the far future of the post post apocalyptic world, we got uh, Siegfried and Roy, or in this case, um, Sam and Max or something like that, uh, the zombie tamers. <laughs> and of course, one of them gets brutally mauled at some point in time. Because that's usually how things end. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's let that station over there fill up a bit. Let's maybe make it so that we can start ordering the bees for butchering. We're also going to be ordering in the rocks uh, for butchering. So we need to make yet another uh, slaughterhouse for that. And then that will also give us a whole bunch of extra outputs we need to think about. We are going to have then awkward venom in there in possibly a big boy train. We'll just talk about the game. Welcome to paradise. Uh, <laughs> Of course it exists. It's like the, the discussion like from two days ago where we were like, like, yeah, German beer breweries are so present that you can just put together two random words and you probably have a brewery. Why is the water green? Algae. Algae. Definitely algae. It's always algae. Look, see, it's algae. Algae. Also, we're flying too far. Uh, I mean, if you've ever been in the mountains and you've ever seen, like, a fresh mountain river, those are also green. This is fresh water. Trust me. I've seen it for myself. <laughs> like, when we went to Slovenia for that festival, and we have drove, um, um, we were driving through the mountains, and we've seen, like, all those mountain rivers going through the mountains. Those are also green. <laughs> they actually had a real nice green color. Not like this green color, but it was green. That's the important one. The vitamin has the vitamins B, A, S, and F. Yeah. And also, don't forget about the vitamins D, E, C, A, and Y. Uh, <laughs> those are also very important. <laughs> Good. Mm. Oh, did I copy-paste it down there? Shit, that's the way I wanted to place it. I want to place it over here. Well, I guess we got another one down here now. That's, that's fine as well, but I wanted it over here, not down there. You can always add another one. I mean, it, we're probably going to still establish this one at some point in time. So it, it's not too bad that it's already here. But it was not really planned to put stuff over here. I wanted to put some more stuff over there. Good, 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 good. Here we go. All right, get rid of all these trees. How many bots are on the network? 847. We really cut down on those bots, like, by a lot. And it's now mostly tier 2 construction bots. It's 90% tier 2 construction bots. Give or take a little. They got this power connection so you don't forget it's disabled? Nah, it's fine. It's fine. It can just sit there. Though, we might want to take care of the beacon in there. Wait a minute. <laughs> this thing over here? 300 megawatts? No. There we go. And then this can sit over there. Doesn't matter. And maybe, maybe we do want to butcher more horses. You never know. You never know. There we go. How is... Yeah, you exist. Yes. What the hell? I guess they just don't want to connect this time around. 
And power, power is doing fine for now. We were doing great for power because we did double down the cool power plant. Like this cool power plant over here now has a brother sitting over here. Also, because we got a new cool power plant over there, uh, I kind of went a bit on the killing spree over here. There's a couple less biters over here. We probably have to kill some more biters soon because I have no clue what's happening over there. And we might just need to fly down over here and blow up some more of these. But yes, I've also been killing some biters over here as well. And not really over here, but yeah, we're on top of things. We are on top of things. So it should be fine. It should be fine. Good. You over there. Uh, you're going to be the Arquats. There we go. And these are going to give us meat, kyphen, guts. Meat, kyphen, and guts. So we already know that things like lard over here, that will not happen. They don't have any skin. They don't have any brains because bees are stupid. They don't have no brains. Here we go. Here we go. Also, if you are a bee by chance, sorry about that. Uh, it's, 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 it's a fact. Bees don't have brains. <laughs> bees also don't have any lard, so at least you'll be looking good. There we go. At least we got that going for you. Uh, guts, meat, and skin. Did you want to expand southwest so that the mole can stay in the middle? Maybe. <laughs> but, but maybe we... Yeah, we should probably expand southwest more. <laughs> but in the end... Um, there are better resources over here because it's further away from spawn. And the further away you are from spawn, the more the in deep your resources are going to be. But yes, the big bull, you are correct. <laughs> I did say that and we never acted upon it. So, well, fuck. <laughs> all right, all right. Perfect. Things like Kyphon will be going down south so you'll be over there you'll be over there and then you'll be over there and you'll be over there let's set you up real quick heaton no it's not heaton heaton here we go here we go in you go out your flow ah we don't have any undergrads on us what the fuck man there you go Good. Speaking of undergrounds, uh, there was also a bit of an issue with undergrounds. Um, and there's still a bit of an issue with undergrounds. And I think that issue is still a certain lack of stainless steel. There were some issues with some of the trains that were kind of stuck because I kind of forgot that some stations have like a 1 4 train in them and not a full 2 8. And as such, a couple of these trains, well, these, these, these stations were kind of, kind of blocked for a bit. For example, you're currently waiting on. What are you waiting on? item ingredient shortage so not waiting on any liquids you're waiting on whatever is coming on this belt which is the that's coming from up here and you are waiting on chromium and that chromium is coming from i think over here yep and you're over there and guess what it happened again it happened twice what the fuck <laughs> that's what i get from quickly pacing down these things over here Duh. All right, let's fix it. Let's fix it. That's also all the way where the vanadium process is. So we're going to fly for a bit. One moment, please. We'll be right there. Uh, we also need to find some space over here for some train stations. Let's turn this off real quick. That's not helping anyone. Uh, we got some space over there. It'll be fine. Launch the B train. Uh, well, we can wait on that for a bit. The B train is nowhere close to be ready yet. Because we still need to fill up the station with bees. And if we have a look at this one over there. And there's only 1,700 there. Because it's filling up that damn slow. No reason to focus on the B train right now. It'll be done at some point in time. Alright. In case you need another train. Yes. But then if I launch the B train. The B train will be stuck in the launch pad. So I might just use it for something else. So we're just gonna let, we can we can launch whatever train we want to. There's no need right now. There's no need to hurry. We're playing a game of pyanodons. We don't need to be efficient. We just need to be thorough. And we're kind of lacking on being thorough because we got we got bad bills everywhere. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> What was 
the other big mods? I have no fucking clue, man. That could be anything. The one from the radar last time. He was playing vanilla. <laughs> you probably mean Galdock Manufacturing, maybe. That could be the case. Or maybe you're talking about... Have you tried Angels and Bobs? <laughs> That's something entirely new. Nobody knows about that one yet. Trust me. It's going to be very, very new in a couple of years. All right. We need to go down south a little bit more. Now, that was Geldock Manufacturing. Here we go. Here we go. Good. There they are. All right. My bad. Here we go. At least these were not as full. Well, actually, wait to wear. It's all in here. <laughs> On the plus side, we do get a lot of batteries which are going back into, like, the base, which we can then use for other stuff. So that's good. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> all right. All right. Perfect. A little, little sidetrack over here. We should probably go back to the base real quick and drop off all of this stuff over here. Just to make it go away. Good. Kytosan. Kytosan. So chitin, empty petri dishes, sodium hydroxide, and mutant enzymes. What do we need to do for the mutant enzymes? For the mutant enzymes, we need to make chimeric proteins, uh, calmodulin binding mutant peptide, and propeptides. Propeptides are made out of lab equipment, which we still want to make a bigger build out of biosamples. If we have ding red spikes... All right, we're not doing nuclear power today. We're, we're probably going to continue the plan we had last time around because we don't have fucking dingrits yet. Ah. <laughs> what was that in the list over here? Really? Are dingrits in here? Oh, yeah, they are fucking over there. Well, then. Change of plans, then. Good, 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 good. I mean, we can still do the research uh, because then the research is done and we can maybe still try to figure out how the nuclear power is going to be set up and maybe just make like a prototype build uh, with some entities going around just to see what stuff goes where so that we can at least think about making it a bigger build in the future. Are this a new type of thing, Ritz? Um, uh, the flying ones? I, I think it's flying ones or do you mean the fucking ones? <laughs> I mean, all animals fuck. That, that's the thing animals do. Um, there's, there's no, no, no jostling around of that. That's, that's what animals do. Now, the dingrits were the pack wolves, more or less. And to make a dingrit... There we go. Ding, 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 ding. We need cDNA, good alien samples, wolf DNA samples, dingrit, Cody, Arfurian eggs, fetal serum, and artificial blood. As for the Arfurian, and for the Arfurian, um, for the, um, Cody... We do need, there we go, phosphate glass. And Gwoof! Hello there! Thank you so much for coming in. Have a good lurk. And the phosphate glass is sitting over here. And I think this build over here still needs some finishing touches. At least it's done. I think we just need to set up the stations and maybe click some stuff together over here. Uh, and then phosphate glass will be happening. As for the Arfurian eggs, yeah, nothing much has happened over here. <laughs> Not really a lot has happened over here. It also needs a radar. Exactly. Exactly. So, I guess we're gonna work on that right away. But let's maybe continue on with the butcher experiment over here. Put this in real quick. And then we can finish up the rest on top. Good, 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 good. Then again. Oh, we need undergrounds for that. For that, we need stainless steel. Let's order in the stainless steel through a train real quick because it does have some stuff on it. There you are. You are filled. Well, uh, not really halfway, but but full enough. It'll be fine. Get get back home, please. Also, you're probably still going down there. Yes. Um, get back home, please. There we go. Good because. A certain lack of red undergrounds is going to be a little bit annoying. Now, we could, of course, try to, to focus some red undergrounds over here. And try to steal some stainless steel, but that's only going to make the issue worse. Um, yeah. I, I don't really want to go around stealing stainless steel from everywhere again. 
It's it's such an annoying thing to do. Good. On the plus side, as soon as this over here starts working again, let's maybe make sure that this train over here, which is currently leaving, excellent, is not going over there first, but let's make sure he goes over here first. So at least stainless steel over here can start operating again. Perfect. All right, I'm just going to find myself a random chest and I'm just going to drop all of this stuff in there because it, it takes just way too long for these bots to pick up everything. Here we go. Yeah, you. Have this, have that. Also, have this and that. And this. And nine bees. <laughs> If you already set up the smart farm, uh, we have researched the smart farm. We've, we've put down a couple over here uh, just to see how they look and feel, but we've not really done them yet. Uh, the smart farm definitely looks interesting, and the smart farm also does need a couple of extra bits, especially the automation of good alien samples, as well as the automation of generic Earth DNA samples. We can use them for the native flora, definitely, but to be perfectly honest, there's no need right now because we got native flora available like everywhere <laughs> there's a lot of native flora going around right now we will probably get into smart farms at some point in time especially once these native flora fields run out or if these native flora fields are going to be like further out in the boonies then we will most likely get into the smart farms and we might also get into the smart farms for the other processes but at this moment in time there's no incentive there, there there's no reason for us to to go down this path and again, we could, of course, also do this one over here. This one only requires poor alien samples. And yes, and what uh, what plant what? Wait, and plant what if you get rid of all the flora first? Uh, do we need flora to make flora? We do need flora to make flora. That is very true. But we'll probably find some flora somewhere. There's always going to be flora stuck somewhere. And if not, I mean, it's not going to run out. There's enough flora around. Just have to go, like, all the way out there. All right. All right. Perfect, but yeah, we, we do need more undergrounds. That's kind of a bummer, actually. Because no undergrounds, no fancy construction, and we do need undergrounds to hook up this place. No, we don't. That place is already pre-hooked up. Perfect. So while we wait, let's hook up that place. Let's finalize that one. Always nice to have something to do while one is waiting. It's nice to know that uh, the base is self-sufficient. At least that's what you try to achieve in your run. You can definitely make... Uh, you can most likely make a self-sufficient uh, pie base. I mean... Usually things you atomize and stuff like that do give more than you request. Though I'm not quite sure how friendly that will be on your UPS. <laughs> Could be that it's just going to be easier to just mine stuff, which usually it is, because it's already there, just pick it up and just ship it over, then try to be self-sufficient and just try to regurgitate everything into turning stuff from A to B to C to D. Does you need iron and stuff? I mean, you can make iron out of blood, you can make iron out of meat, you can make iron out of probably some kind of plant. If I would be guessing, what, what's the iron plant? Kikalk? Is Kikalk the iron plant? Oh, not this one. Mm. Iron ore. Craft. Yeah, blood. Foggies. And the iron and rich biomass is coming from Navens. Oh, from Navens. Yeah, and once you go down the path... And from your toys. Ooh. And once you go down the path of, like, the, the enriched biomass over here... Uh, I mean, one Yote Aloe over here... And 50 Gelators, a little bit of heavy metal ATPs, turn into 90 enriched iron, uh, enriched biomass. And 90 enriched biomass turns into 180? 180 iron ore. Yeah, that, that enriched biomass route is pretty, pretty powerful. All right, all right. We got this thing over here. So, we just need to hook up stuff. We also need to put down a little power gate. So, let's start off with the power gate. Let's see. We can... Are there any power poles in here? No, there's no power poles in here. Let's see. We do need one over there. Actually, pick you up again. One over there. One over there. 
No, this is going to be off. <laughs> That's going to be horrible. And then maybe one over here. And one over there. Good. Currently they're powered. We don't want them to be powered. Um, where is my copper cable? There it is. Say no to power. Thank you very much. And let's put down... Here we go. Hello there. How are you doing over there on YouTube sites? Here we go. Connect you over there. And connect up you over there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then we're going to need a couple of RS latches. We're just going to copy paste them over. We also need a radar over here. Let's put the radar down real quick. Yeah, you can move over there. Good, 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 good. Mm, radar. There we go. So what do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six, at least. And we do need some space for that. We could try to squish them in over here, but let's just make, let's do some space over here. One, two, three, and then leave a gap. Four, five, six. Because if we leave a gap like this, we can easily, ooh, that's it. Nice angle over there. We can easily power them all up with one power pull. Excellent. That's one too many. Pick them up. You, 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 that, you, you. Good. They all run on the same thing. That's fine for now. Mm, we might want to order in stuff. So what do we need? <laughs> this is going to be the provider. Perfect. So you over there. Piton? No. You're going to be a 2-8 provider. For phosphate glass. Mm, phos, 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 phos. Phosphate glass, please. Here we go. Done. A rogue power connection? Oh, yeah. There is one over there. Sneaky power connection over there? No. Yeah, we would have noticed sooner or later. Good. Then. Um, we need a couple of inputs. These inputs, these are all the same. This one is a double one. And the double one for phosphate glass is going into iron oxide. Oh, it's going to be an iron oxide requester. Great. Great. Iron oxide, 2-8 requester, please. There we go. Yeah, train is coming over right away. And then these over here can all be whatever is remaining in here. One of them will be phosphate rock. One of them will be crushed quartz. And one of them will be sodium sulfate. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, perfect. So you over there. Sodium sulfate. We don't have a sodium sulfate requester. I thought for sure we had one. I mean, we're already making sodium sulfate. But maybe, maybe we just don't have one yet. Oh, it seems we don't have a sodium sulfate requester yet. We are making... <laughs> this, this build over here has been sitting over here for quite some time. And we've been making sodium sulfate over here for quite some time as well. Not even quite sure. Oh, yeah, we do need sodium sulfate, but we built it over over here. That is fine. That is fine. Tom Rochette? No, you're going to be the sodium sulfate 2 8 provider. Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. And then we're only going to need ourselves a train. Train is ready. Sodium 2 8 provider. Sodium 2 8 requester. Full, empty, let her rip. All right, that stuff will be coming over soon. Then, you over there? Crush quartz. Trade is coming over. And last but not least, phosphate rock. Phosphate rock might be a bit tricky because I'm pretty sure that. No, never mind. One is coming over. Perfect. Good. And then you over there, you're going to be the final one, which is going to be acetylene. Here we go. And you're also coming over right away. Good, 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 good. All right. All right. We do need to order up more stuff over here. Uh, 2,000 is not a good limit. 24,000 is a good one. So always keep a stock of 24,000 in these chests over here. Uh, you over there, you're fine with that uh, setting over there. All right. Stuff is coming in. Excellent. Uh, is the acetylene connected yet? No, it is not. So let's get ourselves a pump in. Here we go. You over there. Start from over there. You over there. Go in over there. And then you over there. And let's have a look. We can just hook you in over there. Ah, 
I missed. <laughs> Good. This goes into the fuel intake as well as into the crafting intake. Uh, we do need something to fuel these things up. Maybe using acetylene over here is maybe not the best idea. The more I think about it, the less I like that idea actually. Oh, it's already there. <laughs> well, that was fast. <laughs> Hello there, acetylene. How are you doing? Uh, and someone steps to shoot hello? Yes, and I already said hello back. Simrock, are you not paying attention? Here we go. Here we go. But yes. Also, step set is like 10 seconds behind. Yes, that's sadly the fact. YouTube YouTube pro post processing is a little bit slower than Twitch processing. But YouTube processing is also better. <laughs> it is like way better. Um, like, like YouTube does have a bit of a bit of a bigger delay, but but YouTube processing is just way better in the end. All right, but then again, the the chat integration of YouTube is way worse. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's it's always like that. Good. Um, we might want to. Nah, it should be fine. I mean, the only thing uh, there's going to be one issue with this building. Actually, no, there's not. The building is actually going to disconnect itself. Usually when we use Lotus over here and things like Glassworks or any kind of building over here that requires like a liquid fuel to operate, they usually keep on running while we cut power because liquid fuel just flows in. These buildings do not require electricity. They run on liquid fuel. So even if we cut power, they will still work. And if we only use loaders, they will still continue to operate to work. Most of the time, I'm actually perfectly fine with that because that means they are just going to run at crafting speed too with, well, they do going to eat more fuel. <laughs> we, we, do, we are going to be missing out on those. Uh... Actually, no, we're not. It's still going to be at 60%, isn't it? Eh, never mind. It's still going to be fine. They're, they're still going to be energy efficient. They're only going to be slower. But if we do need more, if the beacons over here do open up, then they will be crafting faster at an even more efficient rate. There we go. For the record, he was not behind, he was ahead, see? All right, all right, all right. Hey there, more activity on YouTube. Hello there, people on YouTube sites. Good, 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 good. I'm also kind of amazed that today I'm somehow paying attention on the YouTube sites. <laughs> Usually I kind of forget it, and then I get in this panic state, and go like, ah, shit, YouTube chat. And then I look over to the other monitor and go like, ah, okay, there's people over there. That's fine, that's fine. Yes, YouTube. Yes, Sol Adams. This stream is also available on YouTube. All right. But yeah, this insert over here will actually block this whole thing over here from progressing, which is also good. Just turn on the YouTube chat monitor. <laughs> I, I do have an idea how I can melt both chats just for me, uh, but that just needs development time and it needs less time of me spending on playing games like on the weekend. That will never happen. <laughs> That will never, ever happen. Good, 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 good. All right, we're getting super distracted again. I love that, but we do need to put in some stuff. Is this crushed quartz? That is crushed quartz. So when are we going to be setting this thing? We're going to be setting this thing if we have more than, say, 20,000 storage, then we're going to be setting it. The reset of less than 500 is fine. Then we're going to need the same thing for iron oxide. Mm, here we go. And we're going to be setting you if we have more than... 20,000 iron oxide in storage. We're going to be resetting you if iron oxide over here is less than 500. Then we're going to be setting you over here if sodium hydroxide, which is of course blah, 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 blah over here, is more than 20,000. And we're going to be resetting it if it is less than 500. Then you over there, you're going to be the bum, 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 phosphate rock. Where is phosphate rock? That is... There we go. Phos Do you need phosphate rock or crushed phosphate? Phosphate rock. Okay. <laughs> Good thing we checked. <laughs> and then phosphate rock over here. And same thing over here. 20,000. 20,000 might not work over here. Over here it might be 10,000. Because phosphate rock only stacks up to 8,000, I think. Or uh, stacks up to 50. Yeah, we need to half this number. Also, Cecile! Thank you so much for the resub, mate. How are you doing? So this one over here will be sitting at 12,000. Here we go. Good, good, good. And Lego Ivan, welcome, welcome as well. 
All right. And then what's the other thing we're missing over here? Um, we are definitely requiring something like the liquid as well. The liquid is going to be acetylene. If I can type acetylene. Where is that hidden? Here we go. You over there. And we're going to open you up if we are sitting at more than 95,000. And we're going to close you up if acetylene is basically running out. And last but not least, our product, which is going to be phosphate glass. And we're going to open up phosphate glass if we are at less than 16,000. That's one shipment. So if we have less than one shipment, we're going to start making more stuff of this. And if we have more than three shipments, then we're going to reset it. Yeah, less than 16, more than 48,000. Good. And that's going to be all the logic we're going to be using to operate this machine over here. Ah, uh, seems a bit silly, but it's well worth it because we got like five beacons over here. And the total power consumption over here is 8, 48, basically something, 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 360 megawatts, uh, 470 megawatts, and then 500 kilowatts. Basically half a gigawatt, give or take. This, this thing over here eats half a gigawatt of power. <laughs> and that's only electrical power. Um, though we're pretty good on efficiency over here for liquid power, so it'll be fine. Good, 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 good. Mm, where is me red wire? There it is. Let's turn off alt mode real quick so that we can see a bit better. Here we go. And we definitely don't want to be running the beacon if the beacon does not need to be running. There we go. Combine all of these. Uh, we go over there, we go over there, perfect. And then, last but not least, we do need to get all the information out of you. Yeah, we can use this one over there again. Here we go. If you want to be more efficient, add a battery and reset if you're browning out. No, that won't work. That's just gonna that's just gonna flip flop all the time. That's gonna cause so much UPS drag. It's, it's gonna be insane. Also, those accumulators are base global. No, 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 no. That's, that's not going to work. We already have this one. That's basically the same thing that we already tried to do over here for this thing. And it was a terrible idea. <laughs> it was a horrible idea. It was the worst thing ever. Nah, 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 nah. There we go. This works super duper well. So we do this. There we go. And now we got all the connections in. Without beacons, how many buildings you'll need? Um, for this one, actually, it's, it's for this one is a little bit more interesting because the overall crafting speed for this building. Let's also set this thing real quick because then it will probably turn itself on. Uh, we need six sets. Okay, what are we missing? We're missing thirty of a year. We're still missing one shipment of sodium. For this one, it's going to be a bit different because this one over here is a glassworks and glassworks eats a lot of liquid power and we mainly want to, to reduce the amount of liquid power. This one over here will uh, result in a doubling of the crafting speed only. So if we would copy paste this whole thing over here, we would basically need to put down two of these to get the same result. Um, there is a point to be made and you are kind of correct about that, that we could also think about putting down two of these and then just going energy efficiency and then we will be fine. But overall, we want to reduce the amount of entities in general uh, for whatever we can. Mostly so that the less entities we have, the more UPS we have. And it's doing us good because we used to be way more deeper in the UPS sink over here. And it's going fine. But yeah, for, for these liquid machines, we could probably build this in a different way. But, but I kind of like this. I, I do enjoy this one over here quite a bit. However, if we go for things like uh, maybe the slaughterhouse. The slaughterhouses are a very good example. The slaughterhouses over here, which are currently not being power gated, we still need to do that. <laughs> then again, I'm actually not quite sure how we should do these over here. These actually might be running 24-7. Um, but for the slaughterhouses, uh, with one beacon in the middle over here, uh, we could still add more if we want to, but with one beacon over here in the middle and some speed modules in these machines as well, we get a crafting speed result of 7.5 per machine. Two years of pain. M square. Yes. How you doing, man? Thank you so much for two years already. But yeah, we get the total crafting speed of 30 with these four buildings. And if we want to do the same thing over here, 
Uh, without the beacon, we would have to place down 15 of these in total. 15 single buildings. So basically, we get a speed up of about times four. Which is great. Which is absolutely great. Uh, of course, there are different arguments to be made. I mean, we also build differently. For example, the, the iron processing over here. Like this. This lovely iron processing over here fits entirely underneath a single beacon. <laughs> this beacon over here hits everything. Absolutely everything that's important. Um, however, because it has such a wide range, of course the beacon will be less efficient. But we can counteract that by just uh, um, uh, cranking up the power inside of the beacon. And how to put this? I mean, we this whole thing over here is now running at a crafting speed of 2.8. We could compress this down, add more beacons to it, which basically we did over here for the copper. The copper build and the iron build are technically same in size in terms of machines you need. Um, and this one is definitely power gated, as you can see. Also, I think I took out the beacons over here as well. Yeah, I took the beacons over here as well because of power reasons. Um, but you would still end up with a rather large build, but this one over here can process a ludicrous amount of copper. Which we currently don't need, which is great, but yeah, there, there used to be beacons over there as well. I still cannot believe that you pay someone to suffer this way. I know, right? I know. I mean, I'm not quite sure how you do it, but but on my tax deduction, when I always go like uh, being paid for suffering, they always give me a look and go like, you're doing what, mate? And they go like, yes. <laughs> Good, 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 good. All right, the trade is coming over. So this place over here will be booting up soon. And then we're going to be making ourselves some phosphate glass. Good, 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 good. What about this build over here? This build over here is still missing quite a bit. And we don't really need the glass fiber yet. And since undergrounds are currently out of business, we're going to finish this up later. However, I do see some random <laughs> bits over here which are not being built. I think they are being built. Wait a minute, I remember something. Yep, these boys. <laughs> yeah, let's 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 give them. Uh, actually, can we do that? Do we have enough stuff for that? I actually don't really have too many pie constructions in existence for that, so they're gonna suffer a bit more. Here we go. Train has arrived. Start unloading, and once you over here hit more than two thousand, twenty thousand, this machine over here should start working. So let's see if that's working as well. I'll have a sip in the meantime. Ah. And here we go. Awesome. Yeah, final crafting speed over here is 3.92. And fuel consumption over there is like minus 78% or minus 80%. So it's going to be super duper fuel efficient uh, for its size. It's going to be as fast as we can make it. And overall... It's gonna be good. Sadly, we can't put any prot mods in here. I think we can't put any prot mods in here. No, no prot mods allowed, sadly. Good, but it's also only gonna be consuming like six acetylene per second as fuel. On top of that, it's gonna be eating... Uh, it's eating more acetylene for crafting than it's eating for fuel. <laughs> Actually, no, it's... It's eating twice as much for crafting as it's eating for fuel. Which is fine. Which is fine. Good. And actually, no, it, it will scale even better because this is a power consumption per second and we do the recipe within a second. So, yeah, we are actually only eating six extra acetylene per second to make this thing run. So that's great. Look at the other build. It's rather sad. Well, that's what we're going to have. That's what we're going to live by. Because if we go for full red belts for anything over here, we will die an even worse UPS death. This will be fine. It can sit over here and work. We got a ginormous buffer. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Good. Uh, but the main reason I wanted us to pick up some phosphate glass is because we do need to make a ding red codex. And we should now be able to make a ding red codex. We need only two phosphate glass. I got like 133 in my pocket. Perfect. Yeah, you get these, you get those, and that's that. So we can now start thinking more about the Dingrits. Now, for the Dingrits, we do need the Aphorian eggs. Hmm. That's this place. Uh, this place also kind of looks very, very sad. Like, extremely sad. 
How is the current production of Red Underground? That's also very sad. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we made some, but I'm also pretty sure that all that stainless steel that we've brought in here has now been... Uh, there's still like one piece over there. Okay, it's, it's technically gone. Did we place the radar? Yes, we did, tall man. Yes, we did. Good. All right, let's check up on the red circuits real quick. Uh, been made. Batteries are back. Currently yet again out of MOSFETs. MOSFETs are waiting on... Plastic? On plastic? Because milk was out for a bit, but milk is back on again because potatoes was out for a bit. And milk is partially out. It's currently a potato problem. We're not getting in enough potatoes. Potatoes need to be faster at potatoing. Uh, potato farm is also dead. That's not gonna help with the potatoes. Um, potato farm, what happened? How did the potatoes stop potatoing? Did we run out of manure bacteria? We did. Manure bacteria. Now, well, that's the whole reason why stuff wants to go down here. Actually, that's was for... Which train was that again? It doesn't matter. But poop is currently out of... Uh, the food train. Yes, the food train is missing over here. How's the food train over here? That's you. Sure. Turn that into poop, please. Alright, why is poop not going? Poop is not coming because we're out of this stuff over here. Is this a catch-22? No, that's plastic. Okay. We, we're basically waiting on plastic. So at this point, your main problem is UPS and then items per minute. Yeah. I mean, at this moment in time, we're, we're sitting at 60-ish, but it's probably also because some parts of the base are maybe is asleep or maybe things are backed up. But this over here can definitely go down further. We can actually check the power consumption. The power consumption is suspiciously low. We're usually sitting at like something like uh, 45 gigawatts or something like that. So things are currently not operating as fast as we think they are. Could also maybe mean that there might be something like a traffic jam in the base, which we're not seeing. Which I don't think is the case, but you never know. It might just be that something is stuck, and because one thing is stuck, everything is stuck. But it seems to be fine now. I, I do see like a certain lack of trains running on the network. That's also usually a good indication of, of, of the state of the base. Especially in this corner. There's like always trains going around this corner over here. And there is, like, not really a lot of train activity. So either we're backing up on certain stuff, or maybe other stuff is currently available. Um, I don't know. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I don't know. <laughs> we will probably figure out at some point in time that something is out, and then we go like, ah, because of that. Um, but up till that point, well, we will just have to wait and see. Good, 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 good. But that will be fine. That will be fine. One thing I did do... Where, where did I put that, actually? Where did I move that? <laughs> Shit, where is... Oh, it's over here. Um, and that's also something we should be working on. The fish over here. The fish over here are... The stations are getting moved and uh, turned into two eight stations. And I've already picked up a couple of these. Uh, and one of the stations that is going to leave over here is the science station over here. Because we used to make the science all the way over there. Like, pretty much exactly over there. And that is already gone. That science build is now sitting over here. It's now being done over here because this is also where we make our basic substrate. And this substrate is now going into here. We just order in the flasks. We combine them both together. And we have made no product over here yet. Interesting. We definitely have made product. Yeah, there, there is there is a hidden issue over here. There you go. <laughs> Damn these pie buildings. I can't see shit over here. Good, 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 good. They're also power gated. They are actually power gated. But yeah, if, if, if the belt does not reach the destination, nothing will happen. All right. All right. Well then, uh, let's maybe start working on the fish for now. Again, need something to do while we wait for more red undergrounds to be produced. And maybe also check up on the B train real quick. The B train is filling up slowly. An X-ray vision mod or something like that would be nice to see with humongous buildings. Yeah. I mean, we've already been, been thinking about it. It should technically be possible 
to make a 90 degree rotate mod for Factorio. Um, though, ah, oh, maybe not. I mean, oof. It will probably be absolutely horrendous the more I think about it, especially if you think about train tracks. But you should be able to 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 rotate the entire map by 90 degrees and just 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 draw the entities another way. But then again, if it's only about the entities, maybe it would be more than enough. I mean, there are mechanics for that in the game. I mean, if you make a blueprint of something or a ghost. Okay, maybe not a ghost, but if you make a blueprint of something. Okay, I can see myself through there a bit. We, we did update our ghosts a bit. But maybe some kind of button to turn an entity into like a temporary blueprint or something like that. That would help. That would actually help. Nope, you're not here. You're back and you hate life because you don't want to calculate transistor currents. Oh god, I remember doing that. <laughs> I also remember hating that. But I was also very glad that I only need to do that once for like one exam in uni. And then never, ever, ever again. <laughs> it was not that complicated, I think, in the end, but 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 the first time doing it, it was definitely a bit like, what the fuck am I doing over here? Alright. Fish! Fish! Up we go, up we go. Fish are up here somewhere. There they are. All right, we do need a couple of undergrounds up here. We also do need to move some shit around quite literally. Well, in this case, piss. And these over here definitely have to go because they are going to be in the way. Yeah. What we could try to do is, I mean, we're going to be picking up a whole bunch of stuff. So maybe just put down one of these over there real quick and then just drop everything in there. Maybe accept our construction bots. Where are they? Where are they? <laughs> Where are these lovely bots? That's you. That's a giraffe. That's a grenade. That's a repair pack. There they are. And Prof. Spieler, you got Easter holiday now, so you don't have to calculate anything for at least two weeks. Yeah, I kind of noticed that uh, next week, Monday, uh, Friday, is already going to be like Easter Friday. And then Monday is going to be like Easter Monday. And I'm already like, yes. Fuck yes, I'm gonna have some time off. I'm just gonna relax a bit, sleep in a bit more. I was just really in the mood for, for like for some vacation and then the Easter time comes around. It's usually always the same around this time of the year where I usually go like, okay, it, it's about time for me to order up some vacation. And then usually the Easter days start to happen. And especially in Germany, uh, yeah, there's gonna be a whole bunch of time off for people that celebrate that. I don't, I'll just take the time off. <laughs> But there's one thing I can definitely um, count on, and that is client-side management, because all of the all of those managers over there, they all take Easter off, because, well, <laughs> that's what they do. <laughs> here we go, here we go. What's also kind of interesting with, with Chinese New Year, if, if you don't know how Chinese New Year is celebrated in China, Basically, for four weeks or something like that, uh, the entirety of China is basically on vacation. <laughs> and we had one issue with uh, one of our Chinese partners in the project. And she was like, this is very urgent. We have to do this now. Blah, blah, blah. I was making a whole bunch of fuss. And then like one week after that, it was Chinese New Year and she was gone. <laughs> and I was like, okay. <laughs> Guess it was not that important then. <laughs> Good, 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 good. And then when she came back, she forgot everything. <laughs> I was like, all right, good, good talking. <laughs> all right, let's pick this whole thing up. And yeah, all of this goes somewhere else. And the Easter bundle chocolate eggs for your enjoyment. Ooh. You know what's the best thing about Easter? When Easter is over and you go to the supermarket and you see all this Easter bunny wear, all those Easter chocolates, like 50% off, and you go like, yes. <laughs> That's when I'm going to buy them. <laughs> <laughs> we, 
which was also when I was doing like some groceries via my, 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 well, not really my favorite, but the one um, online grocery store that we have over here. Um, basically, it was also post Easter and they were like emptying out their warehouse or the local warehouse over here. And it was like an Easter bunny for sale for like a cent. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I'll take an Easter bunny for a cent. And then out came like this, this, this massive 500 gram Easter bunny. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> There was only a cent? Nice. I should have bought two. <laughs> all right. All right. What is this train? What are you? Yeah, you don't exist no more. There you go. Train gone. Perfect. Or at least I think you don't exist no more. Well, it doesn't matter. You're gone now. <laughs> no more need for you to be there. Good. Uh, we can probably do a little bit of... Oh, I placed my bots in the chest again. Uh. Good, good, good. Yeah, get the bots out again. This time we can find them more instantly because they are, of course... I lost them again. <laughs> where, where the fuck are they? <laughs> they're not next to the cliff explosives. They're not next to the pumps. They're not next to the train stations. They are... Are they further down? There they are. Alright, okay, let's let's the floss thing over here is also no longer required, so let's pick up you. Mm. There you go. It's this one. Pick him up, please. Oh. Don't pick him up. Pick him up, please. Yeah, the other annoying thing is if you, if you pick things up with your bots and there's like a, a robot port area near you and you make the order too big, then, then the remote bots will be coming in. That's always so annoying. There you go. I do hope they change that behavior for Factoria 2.0. Well, like, this is, this is the perfect example. Like, I'm basically standing next to it. My pocket bots could take care of it, but somewhere, somewhere out there, a bot is queued up to pick up this stuff. But it would be so much faster if my pocket bots would be doing it. And Grattler, hello there. What mod are we playing? We're playing Pyanodons. And Pyanodons is a very easy mod. I mean, you make a small base. Uh, this is our starter base. It's not even any kind of high SPM base. It's a starter base. And it only took us something, 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 1,298 hours. Will we change for 2.0? Oh, was it covered in the Fight of Victoria Facts? Okay, perfect. I mean, there's, there have already been so many new Fight of Victoria Facts that I start to forget what was in the first ones. <laughs> Which is good, because when we, when, the, when I start playing Factoria 2.0, when it comes out, I will be like, oh yeah, this is now in, and oh yeah, that's now happening. Good, 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 good. So I'm looking very much forward, uh, forward to that. All right, we probably also broke some belts over here. I think this was the fish belt. But, well, we will fix it once the new stuff is in. But yeah, very much looking forward to the Factorio 2.0 changes. Whatever they're going to be again, because it's, it's already forgotten in time for me. Good, 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 good. All right, all right. Then this train line over here also has to go. Is there anything left over here that is required? The fish station will be moved. The salt station will be moved. This empty, empty, empty. The seaweed station will be moved. And then skin, plastic, uh, flora, bones, and foggies are no longer required over here. All of these can be removed. Well then. Um, let's maybe start by picking up the station so that no arbitrary train comes over. Here we go. Ah, uh, thank you, Profi Spieler. And then we can pick up the fish. And then, yeah, let's pick up this belt by hand real quick. Because it's easier to do by hand than by bots. And then we can try to pick up the rest of the bots. Let's save for the salt station over there. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, take it all out. Take it all out. Here we go, here we go. Good, we already have a couple of train stations over there. There's also already a plastic station over there. 
which I also don't think we need no more, but sure, it can stay over there. It, it's now there, so it can stay. But we are definitely going to need some more requests over here. Mm, and that belt over there also needs to go. The coke belt over here, that was mostly for refueling. And refueling will be also done differently now. So I don't think we need to worry about that either. There you go. And here, pick up all of these. And then pick up a couple more. There you go. Yeah, this was actually a thing I wanted to be working on, like, between the streams, but I <laughs> ended up working on other stuff. Eh. Okay, that, that one is important. Yeah, just, just have this real quick. Well, we can make it more nice later on. Good, 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 good. All right, one request over here. One for... Let's see, we got one for uh, Filtration Media. We got one for Lamps. We need one for... Do we need one more? That's a good question. Do we need another one? What are we missing over here? We do need one for salt, because we do need to make saline water. So we definitely do need one request or more. Off we go. Uh, we do need one provider at least. One for the fish. And only one for the fish, I guess. Because fish is our main export over here. Mm. Filtration media. Uh, the plankton. Is the plankton still coming from, from over here? No, uh, where's the plankton coming from? Oh yeah, from over there. We, we kind of condensed this one down quite as well. So that's great as well. So that's that. And then lamps, filtration media, biomass, fish eggs, fish food. Fish food is self-sustaining. And saline water. All right, all right, all right. And while we add it, let's maybe have a look at the next more advanced fish recipe, which is this one over there, which require us to bring in deluxe fish food and seaweed. Yeah, the Lux fish food and seaweed need to be added on top of this one. No problem, we can do that. So we do need two more requesters. So one for the Lux fish food, one for seaweed, one for salt, one for filtration media, one for lambs. And then all the way at the top over here, this is where we can place the provider. Here we go. This one over here is where we're going to be exporting our fish from. Good, 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 good. All right, all right. I would also love it if we could, like, get rid of this slaughterhouse over here. And we just make two, eight trains of fish. And we are also going to be doing the slaughtering of the fish over here, which we could do over here with, with this little setup over here, because why not? All right, but it seems bots are bringing over stuff for this one. Is this all covered? No. Oh, but I don't have stuff in my pocket. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> That makes a lot of sense. And we can't pick up all of this, but we can maybe at least try to make sense of this. There we go. Okay, put you over there for a second. Drop everything in the air. Get the fish and the salt out. Uh, get the urea, the science, the coke, the fish eggs, the flasks, this stuff, that stuff. Drop it all in there. Can we pick up you now? Almost. We're still kind of full of crap. Hmm. Wait, do we have much better? Excellent. <laughs> the spring cleaning fever is just too strong. It is. It is. And this was definitely something we've been talking about for quite some time. That we kind of want to, to remove these stations over here and turn them into full 2 8 stations so that we can fully operate this place over here and make all the fish. And now we can. Now we can. Oh, okay. It's it's one shorter. Sorry. <laughs> I thought for sure we were long enough. Much better. All right. Now we pick up all of these again and this thing. Because now we can make this clean as well. Because now we do got the better power poles in our pocket. And we just do this and that. And that's done. And even this can stay. Excellent. Actually, gonna turn off the all the oil from the fish farm? Um, probably because fish oil. What the fuck, man? <laughs> fish oil is gonna be more and more important. And not only fish oil, fish are also fish are pretty good for a couple of other things. But the big important question: Do fish got brains? Wait a minute. 
Fish. Fish don't have brains. <laughs> but fish are good for guts, man. Guts, skin, meat, and bones. We do need to put in eight fish every 30, so that's a higher uh, criteria. Uh, but yeah, we should turn on the other half of this machine as well. And we might also want to move some stuff around in here as well. Um, and we do need to clean this part up a little bit more because there's going to be more stations over here because we kind of forgot about the urea provider over there, which still needs to be sunk in here somehow. And some of the other parts. But before we continue, let's have a quick peek at... Pom, 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 pom. There we go. Yeah, stainless steel is moving in again. Excellent. Yeah, you're slowly filling up. Also making some normal iron and stuff like that. That is great. Uh, it's going as fast as it can. So nothing to complain about. We are making steel. Well, it's, it's complaining, all right. It's complaining because this over here is kind of slow. What's going on over here? Oh, you're still a yellow build. <laughs> That's what's going on over here. <laughs> uh, and there there is a decent amount of it coming down. Is it being split off somewhere? Oh, I think it just started up. That's why it looks like this. Because the further up we go, the thicker the belt gets. Well, not really that much thicker. Oh, there is it being split off over here. It is being split off. There we go. It's going into here. Somebody picked up an order of ferrochrome. Yeah, there's nothing much we can do about that. We, we do need to export the stuff. Uh, we can double down the speed over here if we just, like, upgrade the whole machine over here. But is it going to be a good idea? Hmm. We also need to upgrade the belt, and we are currently missing red undergrounds. Let's, let's not upgrade it just now. We, we can upgrade it later. Good. All right. Oh, God. This, this, this nightmare over here. Do it! No! <laughs> it's only going to cause problems. We're not going to do it. What's the worst going to happen? It can stop working. And then we don't make stainless steel no more. Might also just lag out everything. Nah, 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 nah. No need to do so. It's working right now. And we do need to focus our materials on the things that we really want right now as well. Oh, this is going to be annoying. <laughs> oh, God, why did I do this? Oh, God. So, fun thing about worker food over here. Worker food over here stacks up to 10. So every time we pick up one of these belts over here, our inventory is probably going to explode because, well, how to put it? <laughs> it stacks up to 10. <laughs> um, I think the easiest way to do this over here real quick is just to do it like this. Disconnect you. Rotate you around. Might seem silly, but it is going to be less of a pain in the inventory. Feed this stuff back because it stacks up to 10. <laughs> Empty the belt out and then we're going to pick up the belt. <laughs> For things like the raw next one over here, I don't really care much. That stuff can go into my pocket. That stuff can go into a chest for all I care. It'll be gone. Um, so let's also pick up some of this raw next lot over here. So let's over there. Here we go. And speaking of a chest, we can just place the chest over there. Or we just try to inject it over there just to get rid of it for a little bit. You just get the steel chest. There we go. You have an air. Out, in, rotate, have fun. Off you go. More stuff for later. And then up we go. Caladorn! A more muted cheer today since I had some very bad news. But being here is good to take my mind off things. Megatron, it seems that Caladorn had some very bad news. Can you cheer him up a bit by, by saying something embarrassing about yourself or about Bolt Viking? Whatever you please. <laughs> Caladorn, sorry to hear that you're some bad news. Uh, I do hope that at least my somewhat positive demeanor can maybe brighten your day. Uh, but I do know that, that things sometimes can be shit. 
And when things are shit, usually the day after that, they're even more shit. And after that, they might get better. But it, it will get better at some point, I hope. But I wish you the best, man. And thank you for coming over. Good, 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 good. Also, let's hope the Megatron is working because... I didn't Why even... not both, feeble human? <laughs> Remember when Bold Viking was trying to mimic the ferocity of the Viking battle cries oh, yes. by copying my dulcet screams? He sounded more like a wounded hamster playing with beans, the most detestable thing in this cosmos. And as for me, would you believe I once tried my servo at pole dancing? For a laugh, of course. I have yet to extract all of the glitter particles from my metal hide. <laughs> Awkward humor for you there. Now come, let us return to the battlefield. Charge for the glory of Cybertron. <laughs> that was a very demotivated charge of his. Also, he said the word. <laughs> I might get bad on YouTube now. Thank you, Megatron. <laughs> Alright, alright, alright. Let's just do an injection point over here. There we go. Uh, good, 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 good. Drop in there. Then this part over here can also go away. Ah, oh, clean up, clean up. But we do have to reconnect a whole bunch of stuff over here. That's gonna be the annoying part. But so be it. <laughs> Make it with nice Caladorn. Uh, well, they had an alliance at some point in time, and then things went kind of weird, and then they stopped talking. I'm not quite sure what happened. All right, what do we need for requests over here? We need a provider over here. We need one provider for the Uria. Do we need any more requests over here? Not at this moment in time. So let's only make the Uria provider, and then we're going to be good. Perfect. Over there. And then we have to figure out how we're going to be reconnecting some of these belts over here. Ugh. Well, something, 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 something like that. Here, I have some of these. Isn't the t-shirt saying Twitch or Twitch? I don't know. My beard is getting in the way. My beard is getting longer again, man. <laughs> I probably need to, like, maybe go to the barber again because this thing has been growing again just like crazy. I'm also not really taking care of it this time around. Like, last time I let it grow, I at least took care of it, but this time around it's just going, like... Let's go like hey this time around. I think Megatron forgot our alliance, but somehow overwrote the memory in the back, but it's okay. You're now proud owner of this bottle cap collection and this poker records and sneakily pilfering them for him. Yeah, he also Megatron sometimes does not really understand that he is the owner of the bottle cap collection. Sometimes he just kinda projects his bottle cap collecting hobby onto other people. <laughs> it's kinda weird, but so be it. So be it. Here we go. Here we go. Maybe, maybe once we do plan that cooking stream, I, I still, I'm still talking to like the the guys from from like, uh, what you call it from 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 uh, not Happy Snack, <laughs> from Hello Fresh, and um, if that sponsoring is gonna be a thing, then there's definitely gonna be a cooking stream, but it, 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 things are still being talked about. So one step at a time. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Here we go. And put you... Yeah, over here's fine. Good, 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 good. I just realized that HelloFresh is nearly working globally. Yep. I mean, HelloFresh started out in Germany. And then at some point they went to America. And it kind of worked for them over there as well. And then they didn't hit their profit projections. And then <laughs> their stock price crashed hard. I'm not quite sure if it recovered yet. Um... But it, it was a magnificent plummet to see, like, how, how hard that stock price crashed. <laughs> it was also such a weird thing to say, like, I, I'm sorry to say, but we're not making as much money as we had hoped. We're still making money, and we're still in the positives, and every stockholder was like, ah, <laughs> run away. <laughs> Good, 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 good. All right, still waiting on that plastic. 
plastic not working over here. Plastic. No, that's fast. <laughs> At least something is coming from over here. Um, yeah, but, but we're also not making all the melamine. We're not making all the melamine because this place over here is no longer getting as much urea in is it. It used to get a whole bunch of urea in over here from, from the blood maker down here. Uh, where is the thing even? Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere we had like an atomizer that turns... There it is. Yeah, this thing... Oh, it's not even powered anymore even. Yeah, this thing over here does not make urea anymore. So this whole plastic setup over here is technically no longer working. Actually, if you think about it, we should be importing urea over here to make melamine. Not exporting it no more. Well, one step at a time. Good, 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 good. All right, that's where we start by rehooking up the fish. But before we rehook the fish, is that on top of me? No, that's all the way down there. Which one is that? The Petri dish train? The Petri dish train? Let's go get him. You never understand stock trading. You're trading um, on the fact the company's doing better or worse than projected, and not whether it's good or bad. Yeah, that was like the beginning of stuff, and then people started to do crazy things like, I'm betting you that you're going to lose money next year. And then you go like, oh yeah? And then you go like, oh yeah? And then they lose money and you win. And you go like, what the fuck? <laughs> How does it go again with the example of the banana? Like, like, like you, you're basically, you're lending, you're borrowing a crate of bananas, um, and you basically, well, you're not really... Yeah, you're borrowing a, a crate of bananas for, um, at a price of like 50 bucks or something like that, and then you're selling those bananas um, uh, in hopes for getting like a, a lower price? Or what was it again? It, it was super weird. I have to look it up again. But basically, like, like selling stuff that's empty. Mm -hmm. Can we put rocket fuel in here? No, we already tried. Oh, Coke, there we go. The short is basically a borrowing stocks from someone else at the current price and promise to replace them at the set date. Exactly, exactly. And then you kind of hope that, that once you replace them, that the stock price is lower than when you got them, because then you basically make a profit out of it. However, if the stock price for some reason is higher, then you lose money on it. All right. I'm pretty sure that you are not getting any fuel. Actually, you are. How the fuck did you run out of fuel? Oh, do we have a second provider? Wait a minute. Uh, what's it called again? Petri dish. Incubator Petri dish. Uh, uh, look for Petri. There you go. No, we only got this one. What is it, you bottom-feeding Discord bot? Speak up, or else you might find yourself prematurely recycled as inferior scrap. And bear in mind, my tolerance for stupidity is lower than the nutritional value of pineapple pizza. But <laughs> I seem to have fun with the button. Um, good, 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 good. I have actually no clue how this train managed to run out of fuel. <laughs> like, seriously. Well, maybe at this, maybe maybe the fuel was already here, and he was basically already leaving, and as such, he never got filled up, and he was just low. That's probably the case. All right, all right, you're done. Off we go. Good, 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 good. Ah, uh, fix, fix, fix. Glorp, glorp, glorp. Speaking about glorping stuff together, um, tomorrow, uh, and when we are going to be doing some Greg tech, uh, we're definitely going to Mars. Because power is stable now. There is no worry about power. And we do need to go to Mars because we do need some more nuclear material to feed the nuclear reactor. Because currently the entire base is running on nuclear power, which is great. Uh, however, it does mean that we do need to constantly feed it nuclear uh, resources, which is not too bad. We do need to dig them up. Uh, sadly, we are not running on biopower much right now. Biopower would, of course, be better because with biological power, at least, we would be able to... Um, how to put it, to, to keep things running and operating. Mm, here we go, here we go, here we go. 
And we also need to think about these belts over here. What, what's with this big belt over here? That big belt is going all the way over there. All right, I see. And then this one's going around. All right, there, there are a couple of fixes we're going to be doing over here. For one, we're going to be doing something new over here. And that is... I don't even have red splitters on me. What the fuck? <laughs> I got nothing on me. Oh, it must be like a dire situation over here in the production of these things over here. Do we at least have red splitters in stock? We got seven. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> seven? Oh. How's this train doing? Okay, you good enough? Yeah, bring it over. We, we, we need more stuff. Go over there. Uh, also, why was stainless steel currently not working again? It is working. It was probably just like a minor hiccup. This time around, it's no longer the issue about the um, the Iron Chrome or the uh, Chrome Art. Um, this time it was probably more an issue about... Well, that one looks good, actually. I guess maybe the Coke tray? The Coke tray. This, this place eats so much Coke. It needs coke for fuel and for crafting. We could probably get over here and do a little bit of a tweak over here to make sure that we eat less coke over here. Putting some energy efficiency modules in all of these might actually be a very good idea. Fallen Angel! Hello there! How are you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. And then we need to somehow grab ourselves some, 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 some red splitters. We might also want to go back to the main base because our trash slots over here are full to the brim. And maybe hope we get some stuff, because we are really low on stuff. And the guy, when you got to go, oh, mate, thank you so, so much for dropping in, and have a good one. Good, 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 good. All right. At least we're making batteries again, so that's great. All the way down here somewhere. Pom, 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 pom. Efficiency modules. Also seems to be good that the wafer train is backed up. That's also great. So wafers are definitely being made again. Do these have? These do have some more on them, but we need these lads over there. Good, that over there will already reduce the power demand, the power draw by 60%. So we now need less coke over here. We still need coke for the craft. Coke for the craft is still 2.5 pieces of coke per second. And over here, we still need a power draw of 4 megawatts, which is 0 0.8 pieces of coke per second, which is still a bit. However, mm, put this one on 3, I think is fine. That's hitting all of them. And now we're basically eating, well, basically a half a piece of coke per second. Give or take a little. So overall, this whole process over here now eats three coke per second, so it might be a little bit easier on the coke draw over here. Good, 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 good. Whereas this guy over there is going at... Yeah, you're going at super low rates. This thing over there is an AM5 beacon. Perfect. Good, good, good. Well, at least that's something. Let's go back to base real quick, because we do need to resupply. All right, all right. You can also see that UPS is dragging down a little bit more. That does mean that things are getting more active, which is great. Also, lithium processing is almost done. Do we, do we still have brains over here? No. <laughs> We're more or less brute forcing the tech right now. All right, all right. Good. But yeah, it's, it's, it's still amazing how, how much issues we still have with like just base supply of, of red belts and red circuits in general and stainless steel. Like, there are times where we're just completely backed up on the stuff, and then there are times where we're just completely out of it. <laughs> there's, there's no in-between. There's never anything in-between. You're still trying to clean your brain with bleach? There was actually a thing, like, like about this... Oh, about this thing over here? Um, I, I kind of forgot to check the Twitch Terms of Service, because there is actually a whole bunch of stuff in the Twitch Terms of Service... What you can do, what you can't do with YouTube avatars. I never checked that. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure we're good over here. I'm pretty sure. Also, if you do see any kind of VTuber avatar on my channel, it's all in your brain. Uh, it's definitely not on the channel. Uh, you're probably going to have to check it out in the doctor. It gets the bleach. 
<laughs> and if you ever see Mike's uh, VTuber avatar, then you definitely need to bleach because that thing is absolutely hideous. It has big boobs, though. <laughs> but, but maybe bring it back. Mike, hello there. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, all right. Mike, is your base still running on, on pure biomass or how are you powering your base? Now, Mike's YouTube avatar requires hydrochloric acid. <laughs> Please, draw me a bath of sulfuric acid. I need to go fast. <laughs> All right, is this food production over here? No, wait, on plastic. 80% biomass, 20% pure rage of nuclear chain. Yeah, we're just about to get to the first nuclear. I kind of glorped through the tech through the day where I was letting the game run on the side just to get the tech done. Um, we're still doing so much coal power over here. Like, it's so much coal power. <laughs> it's a tremendous amount of coal power. Like, we've got one big coal power plant over here. Another one over here. And then this one is also all coal. Technically, it's oil because it comes from oil-based products. But it turns into coke, so it's a coal-based power plant. <laughs> And then this one over here is currently not really that active, even though there is a... Uh, it's probably backed up because power draw is now low enough for it to be able to back up, which is great. Good, but, but these down here are all not active. And then we still got that very, very old uh, oil... Oh, this one is... No, this one's going. This one's going. Which is still using the tier 1 turbines, which you need to switch out at some point in time. All right, um, personal bots. Well, what gives? Where are they? He did sap biomass, but I think Keycock power would be good. Keycock? Yeah, Keycock power would be really, really good. I mean, you would need less entities, which is great. I mean, Keycock is just like, I mean, every Keycock farm over here? Or you know, the other way around. Keycock to biomass, you make so much biomass out of Keycock. Like, so much. And it's really not that hard to do. It does require lamps, which is a little bit annoying. But then again, it's only lamps, but once you got it all set up, it's really good. One of the turrets looks lit for it. Let's look at that one then. Pom, 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 pom. I think we already looked at it once. Wasn't there like one in there with the saltwater seeds? Yeah, the saltwater seeds. But then there's also this one over there with the compost. Yeah, the dried key calc. Oh boy. Two dried key calc into 280 biomass, and then also dried key calc and grot into bedding, which is also really great. You do need to make heat sinks and heating systems, but those are not too complicated. Those are pretty easy to do. And then you upgrade the recipe to make less key calc overall, but you get more dried key calc out of it. And let's compare key calc to dried key calc. Okay. Um, key calc. There we go. If we throw you into, like, the biomass bin... Oh, actually... Okay, it's four. It's four. Four into 280. And the dried one was, I think, two into 280, wasn't it? Pom, pom, pom. Pom, pom, pom. Yeah, that's two into 280. And over here, you make more keycock overall, and more of that, or some of that is dried. So, yeah, that's, that's gonna be, like, a lot. <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot. And also, not only that, there's an also, of course, the other path you can take, though that is a little bit more complicated. What was it again? Was it charcoal? No, it was not charcoal, was it? Yeah, it was, it was charcoal. Charcoal briquettes. Uh, which you can throw into a biomass power plant, because this is biomass. This, this counts as biomass. So once you get all that dried biomass together, you add some more fiber to it and some whole bunch of other stuff over here. You can turn it into charcoal briquettes. However, things over here that's probably going to be a little bit annoying. Wax. Creosote is fine, but wax is going to be a bit annoying. Starch is also going to be annoying. I don't really see myself making that much starch to compensate for that much charcoal briquettes. Then again, every charcoal briquette does have 180 megajoules of energy into it. And you make 10 of them. So this recipe over here makes 1.8 million or 1.8 gigajoules of energy. Every 10 seconds. Well, so 180 megajoules per second. You can run some, some decently sized biomass power plant on that. 
Too many moving parts? Yeah, same, same. There, there's a lot of moving parts in there. I mean, borax and limestone, not that much of an issue. Dried biomass, you should already have that, so it's only an extension of, of that. The fiber part over here is the one part that's kind of the one thing that I'm kind of concerned about because you need to make one fiber per second. That means you need to be running only one of these. Not too bad, but that's... Okay, that's actually not too bad. It's only 20 megawatts. Now, actually, no, then we need to compare it to this one. Ooh. Yeah, so so of that 180 megajoule over here, you're basically already losing 20. Yeah. I'm actually not quite sure if this is even power positive. It will probably be power positive if you um, use efficiency modules, but yeah, it's 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 meh, meh, meh. All right, my my pocket bots seem to be super duper lazy. Uh, at least we got some splitters and some undergrounds, so at least we got that going for us. So, that is good. That is good. Fjordor! Hello there! Are we going for an AE reactor now? Maybe. I mean, the tech for nuclear is just over here. Um, so, we're trying to aim for it, at least. Though, we've already kind of realized that we can't do it just yet, because... Oops. Well, I picked all of that shit up. <laughs> um... Well, I got now more stuff in my pocket, so, but the bots will be busy for a while. Sadly, we can't really go into nuclear power yet, because for the nuclear power setup, what was it again? Um, I think it was... We definitely need... We will definitely need, like, like the, the, the coated containers. Yeah, the coated containers is what we need. Mm, container, there we go. We will definitely need these over here. Because these over here are probably going to be required for either the fuel rods... Or for the lithium hydroxide. Or maybe for the American usage processing. We might not need all of it. We, we might actually be lucky. But nevertheless. I mean, we could just stockpile the lithium in the corner. Now that I think about it. <laughs> and just go like, hey, yeah, we'll, we'll, do, we'll, we'll take care of that later. Uh, but because this only makes us lithium hydroxide, so maybe, maybe we could be good. Uh, we've not really looked at the chain yet, but we're definitely going to take a look at it. But if we do want to make, if we do need to make coated containers over here, uh, we do need to make advanced coating, and advanced coating does require countersand. Countersand does require mutant enzymes, and mutant enzymes does require propeptides, and propeptides does require dingrit spikes! And guess what we don't have? Dingrits. <laughs> So, if we do need Kytosan to do the nuclear process, then we need to do the Dingrits. And we kind of got distracted for a bit. Uh, we also kind of are distracted a bit because we are low on stainless steel. And we're kind of low on things like fast underground and splitters. So, I kind of hope that, that while we're doing something else on the side, that we will get enough stuff in over here to get to nuclear processing. Also, Brains, you're there. Keep brain, please. And thank you for the follow, mate. All right. We got some random stuff in the pocket. Uh, our deep pocket is still kind of full. We could try to... Wait a minute. Go down again. We could just try to to rip that stuff out by hand. Here, just pick one of this. Here, you get this. Not the energy drinks. I need those. The fish. Uh, the phosphate mine. This, that, this, that, this, that, this, that, this, this, this. We do need the cables. This, uh, the engine can go away. We've kind of determined we don't need the engine no more. All of this can go. That can go. That can stay. This will stay because we do need the phosphate glass in the future. We could technically park it in here. Um, but yeah, and then this is empty. Good. There's even more stuff in my prison pocket, but that will be for later. All right, off we go. Also, how's pocket power? Pocket power is fine. I did kind of notice you could put you can put rocket fuel in your portable generator, which makes the jetpack oh so better because then you only have one type of fuel in your pocket, which is great, which is really really great. All right, with the brains coming over to the science center, we will probably be pushing through the leafing processing over here a little bit faster because we do got the Mark II brain tubes. So every science pack, once the brain tubes are running, every science pack will be five times as efficient, which is great, which is really really good. Um, basically, getting a productivity bonus of 400% on your science labs is, is more or less what you want. Um, however, um, we can't really do that all the time because we are just not making that many brains. There, there, there. 
<laughs> the amount of brains we would need to keep this thing running 24-7 is insane. Though, the more creatures we butcher, Dingrits do have brains, the more brains we get. So, yes. Alright, but for now, fish. We're going back to the fish. Alright, alright. And the jetpack mod makes this just so much more bearable. Like not having to find the train, going all the way over the air. Telling Crydex that, that he needs to strap on a jetpack because he needs to fly over here as soon as possible. Crydex! Hello there! Thank you so much for the lovely raid. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I think you left us a raid and run last time around. So I don't know if you got wind of it because nobody posted your link in chat. Uh, but maybe we can try again better today. Megatron, we got raided by Crydex today. Can you tell us everything you know about Crydex's podcast? Like, what is he talking about in the air? Like, tell us all the secrets about this podcast. Also, could you advertise this podcast as best as you can? And give him a shout-out. There we go. Because last time around, um, we wanted to post you, or we wanted to find a link for your podcast. I know I have it somewhere, but I was busy with other stuff. Just to make sure that everybody knows that you are doing a thingy, and thingies are always fun. But nevertheless, welcome, welcome, welcome. Oi! Silent Storm, what's up? <laughs> Good, in the meantime, we're gonna build something. Nevertheless, welcome, welcome, Raiders of Crydex, and welcome to, well, still the same game of Pyanodons. Things have changed. If you notice, if you spot the difference between today and yesterday, you get the cookie. Um, if you don't, well, you don't get the cookie, man. <laughs> But we're trying to get our way over to nuclear power uh, because we need more power. We do have an additional power plant over here to uh, compensate for the additional missing power right now. Though power right now is mostly fine, but but don't... don't... Ah, Crydex! The tin bucket who parades around pretending to know a thing or two about podcasts. In his little corner of the internet, he incessantly prattles on about coding gaming, and other insipid murmurings of his twisted human consciousness. And yet, like a crafty rat in the soup, he occasionally stumbles into a bit of relevance with his Ooh. erratic ramblings. I dare say, if you find delight in such frivolities, you might just acquire some diminishingly small enjoyment from his podcast. So, fellow Decepticons, let us give this Crydex an ironic round of applause. Tune in to his nonsense, if only to remind yourselves of the sheer brilliance you witness here with the one true leader, Megatron. And remember to laugh at the pitiful extent of human knowledge <laughs> as you bask in the superior intelligence that is Decepticon supremacy. All right, all right, all right. Uh, there we go. <laughs> an erotic round of applause, maybe. Actually, did he say that? I have to check on Megatron. He, 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 it seems he got some kinks or something like that. I'm not quite sure what's going on over there. We got another raid. Back to back. First came Crydex and now just right after Cyclomactic. Hello there, mate. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How is your game of Nullius going? I do hope it's fun. I saw a bit of that today. I, I, I kind of dropped in real quick and was like looking at some stuff. Because I was kind of bored at work, but I didn't really want to, to get too distracted. So I was just kind of checking out who's doing what on Twitch. And I saw that magnificent purple base we have over there. It was looking good. It was looking good. All right, Megatron. Uh, we also suddenly got raided by Cry uh, by Cyclomactic. <laughs> you know what this means. Uh, first of all, can you give Cyclomactic a lovely, lovely shout out? And then after that, your personal opinion. Who's the better streamer? Crydax or Cyclomactic? Also, tell us another secret about both of them. <laughs> Nullius was good, having fun, figuring things out. Yes, I mean, the early game of Nullius is always a bit rough. I do remember that. But, I mean, once you get to, like, a certain depth, and that's basically something you can say about basically everything, now that you think about it, uh, it you get, like, to a whole bunch of fun things. I did see that ginormous fluid bus, if that was a fluid bus. I'm actually not quite sure what it was <laughs> going around your base. So, yes. <laughs> also, welcome, Raiders of Cyclomactic. Um, we've... We did play Nullius in the past, but we did play that between, like, our vanilla game of Factorio and when Pi Alternative Energy came out. Um, so basically, just before we started this thing, just a easy-peasy 1,299 hours ago. That's when we played some Nullius over here. And ever since then, we've built this. 
Starter base. Oh god, it's a starter base. <laughs> Speaking of starter base, we can probably also queue up the next science we want to do after that. We're a double raid by the spark plugs of Cybertron. Cyclomactic. The pitiful human who thinks he can outshine me. The great Megatron. Yep. If you're seeking mediocrity and inadequacy, give him a follow. As for who's the better streamer, it's like choosing between two piles of malfunctioning Energon cubes. They're both equally underwhelming. Nice. Yet, for all their glaring faults, both these lesser beings occasionally deliver something resembling entertainment. Crydax once managed to accidentally code an entire speedrunner algorithm while attempting to make toast, the numbskull. <laughs> And Cyclomactic, well, he was once caught singing Miley Cyrus tracks during a hardcore gaming marathon. <laughs> How utterly wretched. <laughs> Fellow Decepticons, give these sorry miscreants a pity follow. If you must, just remember where true power resides. Megatron. Is forever supreme. 20 million, 20 million times starter race? Yes. I, I mean, who can't forget that one moment in Cyclomatic streams where he was naked on a wrecking ball, just swinging around? I will never forget that. <laughs> I can imagine it just as clear daylight in, in front of my mind's eye. <laughs> also, I put the lamps on the wrong belt. God damn it. Ah. Uh... Nah. Yeah. We're fixing it the stupid way. <laughs> I thought for sure I did it correctly. Oh, there we go. <laughs> At some point in time, we're going past this and go like, Bolt, what the fuck did you do there? Yes. Um, good, 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 good. All right, all right. So lamps are back, filtration media is back. We'll probably still need way more over here to make this thing run. Uh, we need to make some saline water over here to make this whole thing over here operate a little bit better. So that saline water production will also be pulled up. <coughs> also, um, Cyclomatic, every now and then he just sneaks into my Discord and burps in, in my voice chat. That, that was him, definitely. Absolutely. <laughs> that was not me. Uh, <laughs> Flip it on top of the splitters. Nah, it's fine for now. This spell is now also already getting fed. We're not going to fix it again. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. All right. All right. So we do need some salt water over here as well. Um, and that means we do need a copy of you. We don't really need that much salt water. We're going to make that salt water right over here somehow. Hmm. We can try it like this. Can we place another one over there? Well, we can move you up by one. It'll be fine. Good, 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 good. Um, duh. Oh, well, that was fast. <laughs> well, that was fast as well. Wait a minute. Don't be so fast, bots. Actually, we don't need as many of them. I think... No, no, no. Let's move these over by a bit. And then we can also place one over there. There we go. Good, 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 good. And then... Connect, connect up you over there. And let's connect the view over there. Good. And then you like this. And you like that. There will be a water pump sitting somewhere, but that will not work like that. This will work like this. That will not work like that. Uh, unless... Well, that'll be fine. And yeah, that's going to be too low. Let's go top side. Top side will be fine. Something like this. And something like that. Perfect. Let's get it going real quick, especially with the splitters. Yes, it does. It does. Also, we don't really have that many splitters right now, which is also kind of annoying. Good, but you are going to be ordering in the salt. There's going to be a splitter over there. Wrong way around. And a splitter over there. You're going in over there and over there. And you're going in over there and over there. You know what I also kind of forgot to do? Where, where, where is that even? Here. Pum, 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 pum. Shout out. First of all, first of all, I want to cry next because he came in first. There we go. That's also not the correct command. Mm. Here we go. Make sure that we go through these. I should automate this better. 
I do have an idea of how to automate it better. <laughs> but every time I got some free time, either I start doing something entirely different or I play some more stupid games. And, well, how to put it? Yesterday I started playing Stardew Valley again. So, yes, every kind of progress for the bot will probably be postponed until next year. <laughs> Fan ring! Hello there! How are you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, this thing over here is going to be requesting in not P demons, though P demons are also very much fun. Uh, we are going to be requesting in salt. 2 8 requested, please. Very much. There's always another game to distract me. Well, at some point in time, there will not be another game, but, but then probably the time starts where I start replaying games. Oh, fuck, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did you update the Ash Trainer belt to red? Not really. It, it should be fine. I, I hope it will be fine. It, it should mostly be fine. It might not be fine. <laughs> we can combine these two. We can combine these two as well. Something, something next year? Yeah, probably next year. I mean, there are some Ash requesters and processors out there that still run on yellow belts. If we do see it as an issue, we will upgrade it. Hmm. And this one is almost half a year done? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Are the bots broken since last year? Uh, oh, shit. I should really work on that. <laughs> He's been broken for at least half a year now. I should really work on him. All right, all right. I'll make an effort. <laughs> also, I do say that every time after the stream, I'll make an effort. Effort never happens. Uh, I really need to make an effort. <laughs> <laughs> it started to sound like Koss, it'll be fine. No, 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 Koss is starting to sound like me. I started it. <laughs> You'll be actually surprised how many people, or how many streamers and content creators out there just say, like, it'll be fine. Even Markiplier does it quite often. <laughs> so I'm just going to say it, I got it from Markiplier. There we go. Do you also have to bug you on Discord? I don't mind if you bug me on Discord, but but then again, it, it might do b better or it might do worse. You never know. All right, saline water. Here we go, here we go. All right, saline water's going in. Social media's going in. Uh, You got everything you need. You need fish to make fish eggs, that's correct. And you over there, you still need the lamps. Are the lamps still coming around? Good God, this belt is long. <laughs> Wait a minute. Ow. <laughs> well, there's a problem. Um, there was still half a belt over here of... Wait, how's this happening? Because I probably thought the belt was empty. That's how this is happening. Okay, so we do have an issue. So the... Okay, okay, okay. I see what we need to do over here then. All right. We, we need to fix this a bit. So it's going to be that... Yeah, basically this belt is flipped regardless. <laughs> this, this belt is flipped. Absolutely flipped. That'll be fine. Let's come and place you. Say you from here. And then you get an output priority over here for things like lamps. It doesn't really matter where it goes. Just go lamp over here. Actually, no, it doesn't matter where it goes. Um, And then if the lamps are going over here, the lamp is actually the perfect distance. You go like this. You go like that. And then we do a, a very impressive delta split. <laughs> where we get an insert over here, an insert over there, and you're going to be whitelisted for, well, these lamps over here. There you go. And you're going to be whitelisted over here for these filtration media. And we're just going to drop them in chests over here. Uh, there's also... Where, where, is, where did this fiber come from? I'm just going to pick it up real quick. There we go. So this way around, we will only be picking up the filtration media that's on this side. And we only will be picking up the lamps that are on this side. So at some point in time, when this belt over here catches up and goes all the way around, this thing over here will stop be great which will be great but we will have to dig through that whole thing over there cheers ah all 
right. All right. That will take some time, but it'll be fine. In the meantime, we are making fish again. That's great. And some of these are Mark II fish farms, but not all of these have Mark II fish in them. So let's upgrade them as well. Or at least put in the command to upgrade them. And yeah, let's, let's kick all of this out. We, we don't need this. Fish farm Mark II. There we go. Put in the fish Mark II. Where's the fish Mark II? There they are. And then bring me the fish Mark II. Do we even have that many fish Mark II? That's a good question, actually. What actually ever happened to the fish Mark II production? Yeah, we got 2,300. We got loads. We got loads. We, we got enough. Cyclomatic, gonna have some lunch, mate. Have some good lunch. See you soon. All right. All right. And why do you call your fish Mark II? Why not Peter V? Because Peter V is very close to Peter IV, and nobody likes Peter IV. Especially when he's filing stuff around. <laughs> Good, 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 good. Nobody likes that guy. Absolute asshole. Good. All right. Never ever mention him again. <laughs> you also heard that Mark III is an asshole? Yeah, but if you heard, heard what Mark II did, man, Mark II, absolute scumbag. <laughs> All right. You over there, you over there, you over there, you over there. We're definitely missing a whole bunch of signals. And why name you fishes after him? Because fishes are not worth anything. There we go. Pretty easy, right? All right. All right. So, actually, do we still need this urea maker over here? All this wastewater over here. Do we have, like, a common... Is it not already going somewhere else? Or is this wastewater still confined to this place? I mean, we do have wastewater going from these guys over here to this place over there. And these guys over here also make wastewater. And the wastewater pipe, well, currently is completely broken, I think, and out. Because this is the wastewater pipe, yes. And that wastewater pipe... Uh, I guess it used to go over here. There's more wastewater over here, I guess. There is no reason for us to do the Yuri over here. Also, we're kind of missing a radar over there. But fish are health, although Bolt doesn't fight by his face first, first as much. Uh, in this one, fish are not health. In this one, dried meat is health. Sadly, you can't eat fish in pie to get health. And also, fish are gross. Yeah, they swim in poop water. <laughs> Good, 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 good. All right, wastewater over here. Yeah, I kind of have the feeling that the wastewater over here is just all backing up. Unless there's a connection over here. And this connection goes through here, but then it stops over there. And then there is a wastewater connection over here, but, but is this even connected? This one is connected like this. What the fuck is going on over here? Okay, you're connected. Okay, this is basically one big line. And you go this way. Yes, all right. So, wastewater is connected over here as well. This is connected to the wastewater of the Zipia reefs, which are currently also all offline, which is fine. Lovely to see that these over here are still running. Uh, then we got all this wastewater over here coming together, which is all connected over here. And then we got this wastewater over here and this wastewater. Okay, there's no wastewater connection going over there. So, if we just connect up this thing over here, and then connect up over here somewhere, maybe with this one over there. Then wastewater will all be flowing out into the other wastewater processor. And then we don't need to worry about it for now. It will probably back up and it will probably do some, some other stupid stuff. That's fine. Stupid stuff happens all the time. Here we go. Eh. 
Can we can we build three these lads? I think we can. I think it will be fine. Oh god. <laughs> the concrete. <laughs> the concrete is fast. Also, I'll be backed up on next to That's why they're not working. Mm. Okay, this is by far the worst connection ever. Let's maybe place a pump over here. There we go. Well, this should empty out this area over here of its wastewater. Oh yeah, it's going down. Can't you just jump into the sea? No, wastewater gives us good things like urea and methanol. We definitely do want to process the wastewater. It's a very valuable resource. I mean, you can't basically run a car on fish poop. Wait a minute. <laughs> Good. And then the only thing that's missing over here is the saline water. Mm. You get one of these. You get one of these. So these are ready to go. They're full of salt. And then the only thing we're missing over here is like a big, big, big water pump. We could, of course, also make saline water with this one. That is very true. But for that, we would need some drilling fluid, Mark II, which we do have available. So we, if we do need more saline, um, salt water, we can drill it from the ground. But we also need some small parts, which is actually not that critical, because sm making small parts is quite easy. Um, so water and salt water we basically have at infinite. However, we are probably we're probably at some point in time going to make like something like a salt water extractor, which we're going to be turning into salt. I don't think we're going to be ferrying around actual salt water. So whenever we do want to make some salt water, we're going to make it on site like we do like this. Here we go. Here we go. All right. All right. Yeah, and now you should be good. The oxygen you're getting from somewhere else, we know that. Salt water's coming in. Fish food, you make your own fish food. No worries about that. You also make your own fish eggs. No worries about this over here either. Everything over here is good to go. The only thing I kind of notice is, is that a lot of these things are not even Fish Farms Mark II yet. These are still Fish Farms Mark I. I see the issue over here. All right, all right. And yeah, it seems we do upgrade the belt or two in here. Actually, I, there's only one belt we upgrade in here. Don't upgrade that belt. And then we do the same thing over here. And over there. Yeah, no worries if we don't get any upgrades in here. Yeah, downgrade this one, please. Make it go twice as fast, and then we can add in twice the amount of fish, because the crafting speed of three over here is going to be tremendous. Because with the crafting speed of three over here, we're going to be making 36, uh, 44, 54 fish every 130 seconds. That is still not a lot of fish. <laughs> oh, we need way more fish. We also need deluxe fish food if we want to go for the next recipe. The next recipe will probably be excellent. Uh, fish. Where are they? There they are. Yeah, the next recipe is like 30 seconds faster. And it will also make about 50% more fish. Like, like, don't underestimate these upgrades of these recipes. Like, like one recipe higher is going to be tremendous. So the crafting speed of three over here, we're basically going to make 0.75 fish per second, give or take a little. Whereas this one over here is going to be making about... 0.4 odd ish, something like that, fish per second. So that's fine. Also, do we get a better recipe for the fish eggs? Oh, yes. And the better recipe over here. What's the difference? Oh, just add seaweed. But there's already seaweed over here, which we took out at some point in time. There used to be seaweed over here. <laughs> Is this seaweed belt still valid? Uh, yes and no. But we definitely do want to get seaweed in here. But do we need the better fish eggs recipe? I don't think so. <laughs> uh, unless we are really, really, really backing out of eggs. I don't think we need a better fish eggs recipe for now. So, that is fine. Good, that saves us like one provider. Which we haven't even planned in here for the urea. Great. Uh, we still got this request over here. 
which will probably do something, 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 something. And this request over here, which will do something, 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 something as well. Um, so the only thing we need to do over here is to make sure that we start exporting that fish. And for that, we got... Oh, that's, this is... Yeah, that's a way to do it, all right? Do this real quick. You to there. You to there. There will be an output priority. This belt over here, I think we can remove. Which used to go into... This thingamajig, which we do need to do first. Wait, do we need to do that first? Is there still fish food going to be on this belt? Or do we actually make sure that the fish food will be on a different belt? We are splitting off the fish food on a different belt. So we don't need to worry about that no more. So this belt will be pure fish. Nice. And then we just go like this. All right, so we do prioritize output over here, the fish over here, to go into... There's more fish over here. <laughs> How's there even more fish over here? Uh... Okay, uh, that's fine to do it like this. Uh, let's maybe not split it off over there then. We do at least somehow somewhat want to centralize these fish. Get them all together into one spot, and then from over here, we want to split them off into wherever we need them to go. Good. Which is also part of this whole thing over here, which needs to be partially picked up. So let's do a partial pickup. I also see an ash chest over there. How fucking full is this thing? Okay, it could be worse. <laughs> could have definitely been worse. <laughs> Looking at the chest, it was like, oh no, it's going to be full. There's going to be infinite stuff in there. Nah, it was fine. It was fine. Here we go. Here we go. So we might just want to to fix this thing over here a bit. But before we, oh, actually, let's, let's start doing it right away. So oh yeah, all of this, yeah, cut it all out. How much is in here? Not that much. Perfect. All right. This saline maker no longer exists. So Ah, uh, that might be an issue, because I'm pretty sure that these lads over here are currently not getting any saline water. Ah, uh, they are definitely not getting any saline water. Where, where are you getting your saline water from? Your saline water is coming down over here. Which is connected to you, but where is your saline water coming in from over here? Yeah, maybe they're connected at the bottom. Let's have a quick peek down here. Yeah, they are connected at the bottom. Let's maybe make sure that they are actually connected at the bottom. This has an issue, which we will be getting in right away. Because now we made a loop, and you don't really want to make a loop with your pipes. There we go. And now it's no longer a loop. Because now the saline water is coming in from over here into this one. It goes down over here. And then it goes right over here, up over there, left up over here, left up over there. I looked into another stream in the background, having 112,000 viewers, and chat's just like... <laughs> I do enjoy that my Twitch chat is super duper slow, because I do like interacting with people. I mean, if, if you got like a viewership of that size, you basically don't care about Twitch chat no more. The only thing you care about is basically what color your Twitch chat makes when you do random things, because depending on the amount of emotes they spam, you will see different things. If I had the Twitch set of that size, I think all my emotes would just be like RGB colors. And I would just be mapping like Twitch chat onto some kind of RBG color channel and just go like, oh yeah, people like red now. Let's make things red. Oh, people are going for blue. Blue it is. <laughs> and just work with primitive colors. <laughs> because you can't keep up with that chat. Maybe if you're lucky, you can maybe pick out like one or two messages, but I can guarantee you. Of that one or two messages, at least 99 other messages would just be like something like penis. <laughs> Even the moderators would probably not be able to keep up. They would just go like, yeah, just, just, ah, uh, fuck it. <laughs> just keep that running over there. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. All right, let's get these fish in. Mm. Yeah, let's do something like this. 
let's do something like that. And then there's going to be another connection coming in from over here. However, no, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. We still have the output priority over there, which then goes into whatever we need over there. You're not even able to read a single sentence containing of five words because it vanishes the moment you see it. Yep. Yep. All right. Um, there's one issue if you want to hook up this part. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's it's the issue we call legacy code. <laughs> there have been some updates to this build over here, which are currently not reflected in this build over there. Uh, especially in this middle shaft over here. That's definitely different. Um, there is a way for us to do so. We could just make a deconstruction panel real quick. And, no, you, you. And just get rid of all the yellow belt in the middle. That's like a small, not too invasive clip or cut. Let's maybe also get the lotus out, if there's any lotus in there. And then we copy paste whatever's going on over there and copy paste it into there because I think that will be mostly fine. Rip the old fish barn and rebuild. No, no, no. We're gonna do. We're gonna try to be smart. Smart, 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 smart. And I think the top part over here. Uh, let's also get rid of the top part. So we're just gonna be like cutting all of this. And then we're gonna be copy pasting. Now we have to be careful because is this thing mirrored? No, it's it's copy paste for all of them. Uh, the the top output might be mirrored, but even these ones over here are fine. Not the fish farms, because the fish farms are already marked too. There's also one bigger pole in there. Oh, God. Uh. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, and that one bigger pole is this one over there. So, this one could work. <laughs> I hope this works. <laughs> He was wondering what Pass Bolt was thinking when he was building that. Uh, I can tell you, uh, it was probably Pac-Man noises and gobbling sounds. There we go. And no, I was not playing Pac-Man. <laughs> so thinking of food? Yeah, it was definitely food. All right, all right. That should be fine. That should be fine. We should also upgrade all of these to tier two. While we're at it here, let's just get you out. Ah, let's just do it like this. Yeah, these two, these two, these eight, these eight, those eight, these eight, these two, these two. Done. All right, these are all still fish farms. Uh, fish farms. <laughs> fish farms. Mark one. Um. Control A, Control C, Control V for fast code. Yep. Though you will be surprised how often I do like Control Shift A to basically mark onto the to the beginning of the line because that works for for some of my editors. And then press backspace, and the amount of time I just like deleted that entire file. I was like, oh shit! <laughs> At least Control Z always will be working, so that will be fine. <laughs> All right, so where are these fish coming out? Uh, fish. So get the things right. One fish egg uh, farmed to four fish farms. Ratios are not too hard for you to figure out. I'm not quite sure if those ratios change over time. I mean, at the beginning, that might be correct. Um, But you do get, like, more advanced fish farm recipes over here, and they always require the same amount of fish eggs over here. But then these over here, of course, also get faster, and they make more eggs. At the end of the day, it might be going off a bit here or there. Uh, one to four might be correct, because that's also what we have over here. We got more like a two to seven over here. No, a one to four over here as well. Um, to be perfectly honest, it, it might go weirder later on, but then you can either cut machines from the bottom or maybe try to add machines on the top. But yeah, that something, something, something like this will be fine. Good, 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 good. All right, all right. Good, but where are the fish coming out? The fish are still coming out from over here. Perfect. So that's one fish belt. Let's just put it near here so we know where it is. There is one fish belt over here. 
And we can already go like this. These two do not exist no more. Here we go. And there's one fish belt, I think, over here. No, wait. This is the fish belt. That's the fish belt. Let's double check the other one as well. Because the fish belt is coming out over here, going in over there, going out over there. The fish belt is this belt over here, which we have. Yeah, let's just use one of these. It's fine. Here we go. So this is not the fish belt. This is a fish food belt, I think. What the fuck is this belt? <laughs> Oh, I think it is a fish food belt, actually. All right, all right. Um, pom, 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 pom. And then you over there go like this. Put it all together. And then you go all the way over there. Put it all together. There we go, and out goes this whole thing. And then this is the old fish belt, excellent. There you go. Good, and then this is the new fish belt, which goes into there. Good. Okay, nuclear power is five percent. Uh, I do hope we can get it done by today, so we can at least have some fun with, with sketching out how a nuclear power plant will be looking. Uh, let's have a quick peek at science. So, so what's going the issue with science? A science build is right down over here. Science is going. It's just that slow. It does require 2,500 science packs each. So that's going to be an issue. And of course, out of brains. No brains means no smart vats. And no smart vats means, well, slower science. Brain train? The brain train has like 5,000 brains in them. Yeah, bring them over. I'm actually kind of surprised how fast we are filling up. Oh, this whole thing is... It's off. <laughs> no! Oh, <laughs> uh, that's not good. But then again, I think we are currently also actually... Oh, cotton guts. We could put your cotton guts. <laughs> Those are in there. Uh, we definitely do need to put an emergency output over here into there because this is currently what's stifling us. Let's maybe do that as a quick excursion. And let's maybe let this thing over here sit for a while. And let's see if it, it still keeps working once we come back. There's also still this middle thing that needs to be done. So that's going to take a while as well. Good. Oh, we got so many fish in that pocket. <laughs> Look at all these fish. Trippy. Hello there. How are you doing? You mark one fish at the moment, and it's going to be probably a, a year till you hit the Mark II stuff. The Mark II stuff sometimes comes faster than you might think, and I think Mark II fish is actually kind of early on. And the Mark II fish is actually not too hard to make. The hardest part for the Mark II fish is probably the fish food. <laughs> and maybe the plankton. There we go. Where, where the fuck are we? Okay, we need to go a little bit further south. Come on. Ah. Alright. Yeah, our cotton gun production over here is also not stable. Mostly because of lack of milk. Like, we've got this other milk, milk over there, which is not really working. And we also tried Klim, but Klim was also bad. So we hopefully get some wind, uh, some, 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 some milk in. <laughs> the water is close to giving light on its own. <laughs> that would be great. Then we need less powerful lamps. Just have like a, a luminous and, um, uh, a lake or something like that. All right. Right over here. Yeah. L look how backed up this thing is. It's all backed up by super guts. So. Alpha priority over there. We try to process guts. If we can't process guts... In they go. Off they go. There we go. And it immediately starts up again. <laughs> oh, much better. All 
right, all right. Tomb Guy would be happy with all those guts. Uh, he would just making a, he would probably be making like a drone out of that or something like that. Oh, even Uriah protection was affected. Yeah, there was there was an important connection. Then we also have another connection in here that we should do like that. Now, the meat has the same outflow, the guts has the same outflow, the bones and the lard. Now, they all got the same outflow. So that's fine. That's fine. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, these belts do get full, man. I mean, th there's a lot of butchering going on. <laughs> that's so many creature parts. It's amazing. And there's going to be even more once we hook up these over there. We, while we're here, we can also go over there real quick. Because those over there are not going to be the Ulrix, of course. These over here are going to be the rocks. That's the Ulrix again. The rocks. And while we're at it... And Megatron, that's where we the time he wore a lovely pink tentacle dress. And he loved it! And this one over there is going to be fish. But we still need to import the fish over here. We also still need to fine tune all of this because fish, for example, definitely do not have any brains because fish are stupid. <laughs> but the frogs got brains, but the bees, also stupid, don't have brains. Good. Uh, but more about this later. We, we should focus on the fish build a little bit more. Good, 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 good. But since we are here we might as well put down it's a little bit annoying that these creature requesters are going to be all the way over here but i think that's fine for now uh we are going to need one for the rocks we're going to need one for the bees and we're going to need one for the fish and to be perfectly honest i don't really mind having like a long belt full of these creatures because well that's just extra space extra storage space for us i'll take it I'll take it. Here we go. Here we go. All right, that's all the construction we can do over here. The rest will be done via pocket bots. Now, uh, remote bots. And then we're going to be butchering even more creatures. And once we get the dingwits in there, it will be even more. Here we go. All right, back to the fish place. At least the nuclear power research seems to be speeding up a bit for now. I guess the brain shipment has arrived. Yeah, it definitely has arrived. <laughs> Though I'm pretty sure we do need a couple more brain shipments for, for to power through that research over there. And I'm pretty sure that we will not be able to, to make the full nuclear power plant today, but we will hopefully be able to be, be put into a state where we can see what we are still missing and what we need to do to set up nuclear power. And then hopefully we can get it done soon. Don't forget the fuel box. Yeah, true. But the fuel box... For the creature farms, the fuel box should be where the provider is, not where the requester is. Because we're probably only going to have like one farm, but we might have multiple requesters. Usually it's the other way around for things that produce resources, uh, because usually you put them at the requesters because the providers can move. Though not for intermediates, of course, but for raw resources. But for the fish, we're going to be putting the fuel at where they're being made. There we go. We should also dump these fish into the big chest over here. All right. So this is already looking pretty, pretty good. Yeah, that's, that's, oof, that's looking excellent. Look at all those fish. It's so many fish. It's not backing up the belt yet, but once we activate that other farm over there, it will. However, before we can activate the other farm, we do need to check up on a couple of things. So we did do a copy of this whole thing. Yes, and we only need to connect one of these parts over here. Basically the same way as we did it over here. So if we want to get these lamps in over here, we basically have to find the lamp belt over here, which is uh, basically this one. That's where the lamps need to go. So these lamps over there need to go down over here. Ah. Oh. Well, we're going to make something horrible over here real quick. Oh, 
Wait a minute. Nah, it's still the correct one. Perfect. Then go like this. Go like that. Congratulations. You got lamp. And filtration media. Good. Then we do need things like fish food. The fish themselves. <laughs> we do need to seed these buildings with some fish eggs because the fish go past these buildings over here. Uh, where they then will then be turned into fish eggs. We're also still missing... Is there gaps in here now? No, it's just bots being lazy. That's fine. We also need to connect you up to the plankton. It seems. Wait, we need to... You need plankton. Um, And that plankton is coming from this pipe over here. And that plankton pipe is right over there. Done. Then, saline water. Did we connect you up all the way through and through? No. Did we not connect you down here? We did not connect you down there because we don't have the same connection down here as we have up there. Also, that's where the oxygen is coming from. Good to know. I thought it was coming from somewhere else, but I guess I was wrong. Um, that seems to work. Here we go. That's for oxygen. Okay, that's fine. Which we probably also want to get in somehow. Well, not like this, of course. So, for the oxygen, let's pick up you real quick. Because you don't really need that power pull over there. We can definitely do a connection like this. Oh, look at that. Here, we go like this. We go like that. We move you over by one. And off you go, oxygen. And then for the remaining oxygen. There you go. Just do something like this. Done. <laughs> do you need to upgrade the electrolyzers? I think we overbuilt them quite a bit because they don't really need that much oxygen. Okay, they need 0.5 oxygen per second per fish farm. Per crafting speed. Crafting... Okay, total amount of fish farms over here is... 64. Um, so that's 32 per second per crafting speed. That's a total of 96 per second oxygen. We're currently sitting at 100. Done. <laughs> Done. Um, we do need a little bit more oxygen for these over here, I think. Actually, do these need oxygen? No, they don't. So it was actually fine, but there's no reason to not upgrade those machines. Because these fish farms over here will only get faster, so we might as well upgrade them. Good, 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 good. Alright, filtration media is going around. Then, biomass. We need to inject that biomass as well. Where is the biomass going in? That biomass is also going into one of these, the, the, the furthest away belt we can imagine. Which basically is this intake over there, which is this intake over there, which is this belt over there, which kind of stops over there. Good to know. This one. If you kind of think about it. <laughs> It is actually going to be this biomass coming from straight over there. Might not be the most efficient way to do this, but to be perfectly honest, I would just place a splitter over here, halving the input over here and halving the input over there. This is basically the same. <laughs> so I guess that's fine. We did hook you up to this... Oh... Is this no... Oh, no, we probably broke the pipe. Yeah, we broke the pipe. There used to be a pipe coming in from... Where's the pipe? Where's your output going? Your output is going down here, over there. Yeah, that's where we broke it. So, there's a pipe going down there as well. Why not eliminate um, the run-up and the underground and back over then? What? <laughs> Why not eliminate the run-up and undergrounds and back over then? I mean, we do need to be over here. There's, there is an inserter over here. If, if you mean, why not just do this or this? 
There is an inserter over here. This this guy does need his biomass. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Yeah, there there is some connections over here. We can probably just Okay, it's 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 a bit messy over here as well. Let's have a look down here. You guys probably also want some. Yes, this one. Again, a bit messy. We might also just make a pump over here while we're at it. There we go. Oh god. <laughs> the concrete. The concrete is so fast, man. Oh, almost. And then you over there. Why not beaconize it? You, you mean the electrolyzers or? I mean, the electrolyzers could beaconize. That's very true. So. I'm quite sure if we need to. The fish? You can't beacon us the fish. The fish run on fish modules. You can't put fish in the fish beacon. <laughs> we used to be able to do that in the past, in the previous version of Pyanodons. It was possible there, where you could just put creatures in the beacons. But we can't beacon us these. The fish farms, or every farm, sadly, does not really shrink. You just cut, under, uh, cut off the underground to the station? I did? I mean, this got fixed over here. Sorry, are you sure? Higher. I mean, there are still some cuts over here because we were radically cutting everything over here. If that's what you mean. <laughs> and there are some radical cuts over here. <laughs> still a work in progress over here. We also still need to reconnect this belt over there with that belt over there. There are some connections in here that are just heartbroken right now. Because there were a whole bunch of 1-4 stations over here, which of course is something we don't want to support no more. So moving them into 2-8 stations meant, well, we had to make some space. Also, not all of these stations are required no more. So, yeah, this, this is already way better. All right, fish food is missing and saline water. Uh, for the saline water... Zalide Wasser. That's the whole reason why I did this down here. There we go. Saline water. There we go. That's going in. And then you still miss the fish food. And you over there, you miss the fish eggs and the biomass and the fish food. But that's all coming in. Basically, we're only missing the fish food. Because the fish eggs will be coming from over here, and they need fish, so we do need to see this whole thing. And then maybe, maybe it will be working. So, uh, for the fish food, how does that work over here again? Because we do have, like, an output over here for fish food. We are making more fish food than we need, and we regurgitate our own fish food into here. There is a regurgitation line over there. So basically... Your output over there, where the fish food is coming out, which is this one over there, this one over here... This one over there, and then it kind of stops over here. This is the fish food regurgitation line. So you over there, you get an upper priority going this way. And then where does it go in? The fish food goes in right over there. And this build is still such a mess, man. <laughs> But you know what it is, sometimes you got like legacy code and sometimes you got like um, very, very, <laughs> very, very old uh, software you have to work with. And that is exactly the thing we're doing today. Good. And then we just put the overflow into the overflow line, which is going down over here where we're doing something with it. And then we do the same thing over here. This is going to be the overflow line. And then we're going to be... Okay, it's lamps going off. <laughs> We're going to be regurgitating our food first. There we go. Regurgitation is going into this line over there. And if you can't regurgitate no more, 
Then we go over here. And we send it off to whatever's going to happen over there. Uh, we might still need to import fish food. We might just export fish food from over here. I'm actually not quite sure what we're going to do over here. Because technically, don't these over here also run on fish food? Yeah, these over here also run on fish food. So we still got some fish food on here. It, it used to be that the, the fish we're doing over here are producing the fish food that we need over there. So I think it might be fine. Might be. We do got some fish food and we do got some fish eggs in our pocket. So that's great. So how about you get some, you get some, you get some and you get some. And then we need some fish eggs. Wait a minute, you also need fish food over here, wait a minute. Uh -huh. So you get those. You get those. This thing over here will make basically twice the amount of fish food we put in. We need to put in a little bit of fish food over here to make the fish eggs. So you're making fish. Those fish, uh, those fish go into here together with the fish food that we're making over here. Which is... Going in by means of regurgitation. <laughs> uh, because it will pass over here first. Perfect. Um, and let's just put half of there. And you can keep those. Um, half of there. Good. As for the fish, yeah, the fish will pass these fish egg making machines first before it goes out the common line. Excellent. And then we will just see, I guess. <laughs> it's a bit of a mess, I have to say. It's a bit of a mess. But if we just make more fish now, that will be so good. It's definitely a bit of a mess. A mesh mess. All right, all right. Oh, God. This is also a bit of a mess. What the fuck, man? <laughs> I was wondering where all my bots are. They're all over here. Good. And I don't really think we need to make ZPS over here. I think this production might... Oh, yeah, this production is not running. Not because it's not getting any input. This production over here is not running because the output is full. Because we've got like 2,500 ZPS over here and 2,500 ZPS over there. These are fine. These over here need to be running. The 2.0 bot logic up is going to be so good. Yeah. Though, I think in this case, this might still happen over here. I'm actually not quite sure. There must be some kind of range over here where, where the bot uh, logic will tell them to basically go somewhere else to charge. Because it might just be that these robots over here are just maybe too far away for them to notice. I don't know. I'm thinking it, uh, if you're thinking it's correct, your current power plant project takes 180 coal and 80 kerosene power plants. And we require the amount of power. Well, let's hope it stays. Let's hope it sticks. All right. Uh, here's some... No. Oh. <laughs> we didn't make enough fish, or at least not enough fish came in over here. That should be fine. We're still making some fish over here. Ah, because half of the fish went this way. Which then went into these. Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. So one more cycle of fish and we might be good. I'm also a little bit surprised about the amount of oxygen in there. So that might just be an odd value. Do they want to change a charge or do they want to go home? They want to charge and they want to go home. Unless actually, no, wait, wait, you may be right. They actually want to go home in this case. In this case, they want to go home. Where are they? Because they can sleep in here. They can actually sleep in here, so they want to go home. In this case, they want to go home. Where the fuck did you guys come from? <laughs> How long have you been going around? Oh, there's more! <laughs> all right, all right. Get over here. Maybe build a Mark II and delete the old one? Yeah, we should do so. Let me just wait for, for some of these old bots to come on in here. All right. Yeah, fish egg production over here is now starting up as well. And this whole cycle should start to spin. Should. 
And as long as fish are stacked up over here, we're making, turning them into biomass. There is fish food bleeding through over here. That's fine as well. These are starting up again. These are still running. We're backing up yet again on Zipia eggs. That's also great. Let's have a quick look on the map. If there's still some other bots flying home. Now, the, the last bot that's flying home was over here somewhere. Where was he? Oh, is he already there? There he is. All right. I, I think we got all our bots back. How many pocket bots do we have? 48. That seems about the right number. Because we never had the full flat 50 in there. All right. All right. Yeah, it seems to be fine now. This seems to be fine now. All right. It's time to make some fish trains. Now, we do need to import fish in other places as well. We do already have like a 1-4 fish train. Fish. Let's have a quick look at that. We got only two 1-4 stations. One is with the milk. And one is over here, which is going to be upgraded into the 2-4, at uh, 2-8 station. So kick this. This train over here. You're going to go over there. Wait for me to be there. You're getting deleted. Which means we do need to place a 2-8 station over here. Which we're going to be placing right on top over here. Because we've got some space for that. To get the fish in for the milk. Here we go. Why delete it? Because it's going to be a 2-8 train. So it's good to all upgrade it. We have no upgrades. I mean, we could make it longer. True. But. Nah. It's just going to get eaten. It's going to get replaced by this train over there. Good. Zop. No. You're going to be a uh, fish. 2-8 provider. Here you go. Second engine in the front. The four cuts in the back seems faster. I don't want to. Also, the train has to go all the way over there. We're now building a new train. We're just going to delete the old train at some point in time. Nah, it's fine. Does the milk for really need fish? Yeah, the Corlex do need fish. For the Corlex to make milk for us? Yeah, that's... Creamy latex. <laughs> the other kind of milk? There we go. Um, Yeah, they require fish. We even have a better recipe available for some bodos, I just noticed. To make even more milk. Yeah, the Corlex, the Corlex, the Corlex needs, uh, they, they, they need fish. But you forget the ash will be turned into logs for biomass, but I don't know the number for that yet. Oof. Then maybe also put like a biomass power plant right on top of it. <laughs> Though, keep in mind the biomass power plant scales a bit weird. It does scale well, but it does scale also a bit different. So you need, you need some space for that. Here we go. Here we go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. Uh, we're probably going to be watching this thing over here soon again to see if it's working or not. Uh, at the moment, the fish production over here is definitely working, so we're fine over here at least. And if we think we need more fish production over here, we're just going to have a look at this one over there and see if we need to debug over here a little bit more. Actually, we do need to see to this side because this side is not seeded yet. So let's grab some stuff real quick, see that side. And then come back after a while to check if things are going or not. And then it should be fine. So no fish food over here? There's no fish food over there. Um, fish food, please. This is looping. Can you feed the minimum amount of feed uh, to a seed? You want to see it slowly boot up? Yeah, I mean, that's exactly what we're doing, right? Yeah, have some fish. Have some food. Have some more food. Okay, we need to bring some more food in. Have some eggs. Though, that, you will not be able to see it boot up that fast. I mean, it's going to be a very slow process because each of these iterations over there is like 70 seconds over here and 130 seconds over there. So basically one minute and two minutes. That's going to take forever. Absolutely forever. There you go. That's the fish food. And then we're out of fish eggs. But we have some more fish. Oh, you still need the plankton. Wait a minute. What's going on over here? Um, boom. There we 
There we go. Off we go. Just enough to get one recipe out. Nah, this is fine. Let's just sit over here. It will take some time to, to speed itself up. I don't really want to put in any more effort over here. This is done. Get increase the fish production. All right, let's make the station for the for the milk cows. So then we can definitely also make more milk and keep the fish going. And after that, we can also get those fish into the slaughterhouse to turn those fish into, well, everything we need. That also kind of means that the slaughterhouse in the north can be replaced, um, which is fine. We are not going to be scaling up the fish slaughterhouse to the production of fish we currently have. We're also going the wrong way, I think. No, we're not. We're going the right way. Uh, mostly because um, we don't always want to sink our fish. We probably also want to, to have some fish afloat every now and then for other crafts. And I think they also do need to go into the food building. So, yes. Yeah. There's definitely a food recipe out there that also requires fish. All right. All right. the fuck is this? <laughs> I guess it's fine. <laughs> I think one of those at some point in time was a storage chest and I wanted to empty it out. And at some point in time, I mass upgraded all storage chests into um, passive provider chests. And now we have got that. Here we go. Yeah, have this. Have that. Good. Then you over there. You're gonna be the fish 2H requester. Which is gonna be replacing the fish 1-4 requester, which we have over here, which I think is this one over there. Uh yeah. All right, so like a little bit of cleanup. Yeah, there's definitely more cleanup that can be done over here, but uh, yeah, nah, we, we've done enough cleanup today. Uh, the only thing we need to make sure of is where these belts are going. One of them is going over there into the fish food production, which we do not need. So we do need to connect up this belt over here. This is the belt we want to connect up. Here we go, here we go. So we go down over here. Is it still early game for pies? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, we're not over the 50% mark yet. We're still under 50% tech completion, so it's, it's still the early game. This is still a starter base. I mean, you know how it is. A starter base is the base you need to make to make all the science packs. We're not even making all the science packs yet. <laughs> so welcome to the starter base. Just a bit. <laughs> Just a bit. Ah. Maybe make stove requests at the landfill production? We already have the stove requests. Sorry, the big ball. What? We got even two stove requests over here already. And we're doing good for landfill even. We got 14,000. Oh, a bot requester. Oh. Nah. Ooh, ooh. Mm. First of all, this thing goes. <laughs> It will tie up our bot network for quite some time. Also, are you actually out of range of all of those? What the hell? I might do that, but not right now. If we do it now, then all the logistic bots in the base will be doing something and nothing will get done. I might do it post stream just to get all of this stuff over here done with and we're fine. Um, if I don't forget about it, which is also a good chance of happening. <laughs> And put in like 50 requests so it's slow. Yeah, that might also work. True, true, true. I always go with the like, then no, no, we're gonna request all of the stone, man. All of it. Alright, alright. So, fish train. Where's the thing? Fish. You there. Fish. 2 8 provider. 2 8 requester. Full. Empty. And a rip. Also, we kind of forgot something very important over there. Forgot about what? What? Squirrel? Yes, I'll take a squirrel. Uh, 
Well, that's not optimal. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I think there was an important power pole down here somewhere. <laughs> that seems better. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> As always with every kind of piano on base, somewhere in the base is probably like a small wooden power pole where there's like probably like something like 20 terawatts of power going through. And that small power pole keeps the whole base together. Yes. The only reason it's not burning is because there's so much electricity going through that power wire, it just pushes away all the oxygen. Like, there will be no more oxygen around that for that thing to even start smaller. <laughs> good, 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 good. Pick it up and you can put it to shit to break. <laughs> this guy's like, you did what, mate? Blah! <laughs> Instantly dies. All right, we need some fuel over here. Pom, 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 there. No question why I'm always going back to this one, but we're always going back for this one. There you go. Fuel. 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 Oh. Oh, the perfect. This. Oh, there's more. Shit. <laughs> Never mind. It's not the perfect distance. Uh, is there still a 1-4? No, it's all to 8. Perfect. Mm. Yeah, let's put you, say, over there and do this. Good, 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 good. All right, that's fuel done. Do you have buffer chest of coke? It might help with the bot throughput. Not yet, not yet. We should probably start thinking about that as well. Uh, especially for the coke, if you think about it. The, these trains, well... And again, our trains are not really going that often. That's that's the merit of having like those big trains. I mean, if you had like one one trains everywhere, you would need so much more fuel. But but we actually don't really need that much fuel in terms of coke for these trains. So this might be fine. Also happy to see that he goes. I think the biomass is still missing for the four fish farms on the side. I'm pretty sure they got it. Wait, the four? <laughs> oh, four of the fish farms on the side. Yes, because we got the same issue over here. That that weird thing we did over here. We need to do that over here as well. Because that is this connection. There we go. Alright, alright. And now they can spin up. Yeah, it should be fine. It should be fine. Good, yeah, you're missing fish food, but that will... I mean, the fish food is going in over here first, so it will go down first, and then it will go up. And seeing how we're already on this fish from over here, yeah, this one is spinning up nicely. Also, we're still waiting on the Mark II fish farms over here, but that is fine for now. This is fine for now. That's a lot of fish. Let's have a quick peek at fish! Mike, over the one-hour production, only fish. Maybe the 10 hour production. Okay, <laughs> 10 hours ago, fish was dead. 50 hours ago. Our average with the old with the old build over here was something, something, something about 405 fish per minute. Currently, we're sitting at 666 fish per minute. Nice. And it's only going to increase because we now also have the other part of the fish farm uh, hooked up. Um, and we're going to be upgrading all of this into Mark II fish farm. Speaking of Mark II fish farm, there you go. Give me some more Mark II fish, because we can definitely put some more Mark II fish in here. Also, 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 there they are. Wait, where, where was this one rubble port? There, there. We, we should take care of some of these old rubble ports. Like, whenever... Another one of those things we maybe should start doing when we go around the base, when we see, like, an old rubble port like this, definitely replace it with, like, a newer rubble port like this. Because these over here have an absolutely abysmal charge rate. Like, like if you try to charge bots in this station... It's horrible. <laughs> Absolutely horrible. Factory search mod will help with that? No. <laughs> We're gonna suffer. We're not playing this because it's easy. We're playing this because we're stupid. Wait. <laughs> good, 
Good, good, good, good, good, good, good. All right, that is fish done. At least for now. Uh, we still need to fix up this part over here, but we don't really have that many rubble ports on us right now. Unless we made some new ones. Let's have a look over here. Where where, where are we making rubble ports? There they are. Ah, uh, we do got 24 construction zones. Oh, wait, those are rubble ports. So it's not construction zones. Like Rescue the poor bots? No. They will be rescued at a later date. Because we do want to put down some construction range extenders around them, but we only got one. Exactly one left. So, no, they're not getting that one. Those bots up there, they're going to suffer for a bit more. It'll be fine. Let them suffer. The factory search will probably freeze the game for a few seconds, given the factory size. <laughs> uh, I'm, well, it kind of depends on how factory search works, if you think about it. I mean... I'm not quite sure how it is implemented, but you could probably implement it quite smart if you just already... I mean, if, if you make a database or something like that on the go. Um, and didn't they... Wait, did they not also... No, they, they put that into 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 Factorio 2.0, didn't they? Because basically, if, if once you put down like an, an entity or something like that, or once you change the recipe, you can immediately update that in any kind of hash map or something like that, or a database, whatever you want to use. And then when you, when you want to know where shit is... Querying that database or that hash map should be easy. Should be should be super duper fast. Though of course, um, if you don't have that yet and you have to do that whole hash map once, that's gonna take a couple of seconds. <laughs> that's gonna take a couple of seconds. But you only need to do that once. It's just a simple table. Yeah, you would be surprised how fast simple tables can be. But then again, a simple table can also be a hash map. <laughs> and a simple table is probably a hash map internally. There we go. It's just like that 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 simple programmer approach for like calculating like the first ten numbers of Fibonacci or something like that. Instead of actually doing the calculation, you just have an array of like the first ten values. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Super duper <super> fast. <laughs> what do you mean you did number eleven? Nah, you don't get number eleven. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, optimizations like that are more uh, more common than you might think. I mean, yes, of course. If, if you think about it uh, from an algorithmic point of view, sometimes you just got like an issue where you go like, yeah, we need to calculate this weird number that is very has a very distinct pattern. And we only need like maybe um, factorials of like one, two, five, seven, nine of them. But the calculation is kind of costly. So we do that every time. But if you only need like, like five times or five distinct values, just make it a constant. <laughs> Put them in the table. Done. <laughs> Recursive versus iterative Fibonacci. Yeah. And then you just got like, yeah, we got the values of Fibonacci just here in an array. Done. <laughs> That's 01 as fast as it gets. Yep. Pretty much. A simple table can be super fast or ridiculously slow depending on the engine accessing it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, woo. Oh, yes. <laughs> also, how it is stored in memory. That's also a way. I mean, sometimes you got files that are big. That that happens. Like, sometimes you got, like, massive, massive, massive files. Um, and if you do it correctly, you don't even hold the entire file in your memory. You just know where to read, when you need to read. So you skip to the position when you need to read something. And then you basically increase access or working with that file. But not every program does that. Because usually... Cheap programs or quick, quickly made programs just load the whole file into their memory, probably overload the memory of the entire system, and they push stuff into like the 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 the, the swap file or whatever you have, and that just slows down things tremendously. <laughs> it's the first example of hashing taught to people for recursive Fibonacci. Yep. <laughs> All right, we're at twenty percent of nuclear power. Great, great. Let's have a look at science real quick. Are there still brains? Nah, the brains. So we are just brute forcing science. That is fine. There is... Okay, Pi Science 2 seems a bit low. Let's check up on Pi Science 2. It's, it's doing something, so... It should be fine. Should be fine. Might not be super duper fast, but as long as it's working, I'm happy with that. So that is fine as well. And then, yeah, basically everywhere where there's a train sitting over there, that's good as well. 
we do got a whole bunch of logistics signs over here in storage and the logistic train has not shown up yet so how is logistic signs yeah that looks kind of crap <laughs> also i'm not sure if i'm still looking at the belt or not but yeah logistic signs is currently not working all right but this looks pretty good it's probably missing something, something, something from this side. You are missing something. You are missing something. Output full, you're fine, you're fine. What are you missing? Are you missing bone meal? <laughs> there appears to be some batteries on my belt. I'll forget. <laughs> What the fuck happened over there, man? Ah. As well as the box that killed one of the newly servers in the data system yesterday, the hypervisor memory usage was over 100% with a lot of swapping. Yeah, don't underestimate swapping. Swapping, <laughs> swapping kills things. All right, um, all right, bone meal, bone meal, bone meal, bone meal, bone meal, coke, <laughs> bone meal, bone meal, uh, bone meal, bone meal, bone meal, bone meal, where did the coke come from? What is this one? Is this also a 1-4 train? Parables. Need more bones. Oh, that's probably where that's... Okay, I think I see what happens over here. All right, all right. So, so it's it's not a... Co well, it's a, it's a ah, fuck it. <laughs> where, where the fuck are you, man? So there's nothing wrong over here. Over here's fine. Uh, with the exception that we got a bit of contamination over here. Um, But you are sitting... Okay, I see where you are. Uh... Yeah. Let's see if we can just put in a simple clear thing over here. Uh, there we are. A whole bunch of cargo bots in there. Yeah, let's put you... Over here is fine. Oh, you've got power. Perfect. Then... One of you. Blacklist. Blacklist. Bone meal. And drop that into an active provider. There we go. So whenever that code comes up over here, we'll be fine. We don't need to worry about that. That'll be fixed. Can we disconnect anything over here? No. Where else does the train stop? I don't think the train is stopping anywhere else. Bone meal, one, four requesters. Oh, we got a second one. There it is. I don't think that this place over here has been working in ages. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Roboport with that power? Wait, no power? I thought it was working. Oh, no. That's also something I kind of dislike a bit. You place down these roboports and they start off with power and they just start working. And you go like, ah, it's fine. You can go. And then like, no, actually, we were not connected. Sorry. Trust your Twitch chat? Megatron, um, should I trust Twitch chat? Did YouTube chat report it? No, but YouTube chat is fine. <laughs> They're amazing over there. Leave step chat alone. <laughs> Good, 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 good. All the way over here. I'm very happy that these of you don't explode yet. See, we're better. <laughs> Class warfare. What the fuck, man? <laughs> also, Megatron is taking his good amount of time. He's, he's probably preparing a spicy Trust answer. Trust Twitch chat, you ask? Yeah? My circuits crackle at the thought. Would you trust a piece of malfunctioning hardware to operate correctly? 
No, you wouldn't! Those Twitch chatters are as unreliable as Prime's logic circuits. One moment they're singing your praises, the next they're calling for your deactivation. <laughs> but then again, their incoherent rambling brings a certain spark of chaotic entertainment to our stream. Much like Bold Viking trying to do a tap dance routine. Go ahead, trust them, but be ready for a circuit frying experience. Now let's get back to conquering the universe. Megatron, out! Uh, Megatron, uh, I've just asked Twitch chat for some financial advice. It's gonna be good, right? <laughs> Just invent, uh, invest in, in bold coin. Yeah, in bold coin. That's how it's going to be. Bold coin is the best coin. I mean, I, I give you the 100% the guarantee that you will lose your money. See? <laughs> All right. Okay, destination is also full. Perfect. We don't need to worry about that. As I say, he's wrong, but this insane murder bot knows us. He's sometimes asking very... Asking Twitch chat for financial advice is like asking a Petro Rabbit to perform a tune on the keytar. They're more likely to short-circuit their own servers than offer a sensible fiscal strategy. But alas, it could be amusing, like watching Bold Viking, the bottle cap hoarder, determining the value of his collection. So heed their advice, if you wish. Just remember when your credits sink faster than a shark's tikan in quicksand, you can always blame Twitch chat. <laughs> remember who warned you. Megatron, forever your guiding beacon of sanity. All right, Megatron. Um, Twitch chat just came up with the great idea to invest all my money into NFTs. Especially NFTs with the depiction of cute cats riding laser unicorns. It seems they're going to be the next big thing. Do you want to buy one? You can have one of me for like 10,000 euros. <laughs> I'm actually kind of curious what he's going to say about that. <laughs> and Bumblebee, yes! Why train don't go? Because it doesn't need to go. Train full. Well, well not train full, but station full. This train will only go if the station is open, and, well, station is not open because, well, we can't see the station, but station full. I mean, if, if the train can't go anywhere where it can unload its uh, contents... Invest in NFTs with cute cats riding laser unicorns? Yes! Why? That's as ludicrous as a star screams loyalties! <laughs> I... Megatron, leader of the Decepticons, do not need such paltry graphics to assert my prominence. Your proposal is as absurd as Bold Viking's yoga routine. Mm -hmm. And did you see that poor attempt at market manipulation? <laughs> 10,000 euros for a digital image of you? I'd rather optimize my weapons for explosive potential than spend my energy credits on such nonsense. Damn. The only thing I need to collect are the scorched frames of my enemies. Leave this nonsense to the plebeians. Megatron, out! Okay, he doesn't like it. But, but, but. All right, Megatron, I, I see you didn't want to buy that one NFT. However, we got another NFT over here. It's a depiction of you standing victorious over all your enemies in a mighty pose. You're basically posing in a mighty V pose. Your arms are in the air, your guns are charged, you're shooting everybody. Optimus Prime is, well, basically caressing your nether regions. Uh, Bumblebee is burning because his ass cheeks have been blown out. It's an absolutely amazing depiction. For only 1 million euros, you can buy it. <laughs> Won't that explosionary be a bot killer? Maybe, so be it. If this over here kills bots, I don't care. If we do notice that it's going to be a problem, then we start caring. All right, all right, all right. But we're making bots again. We got some red circuits in from somewhere. Lovely. You want to empty the logistics storage so bad? Yeah, but I don't care about it. <laughs> 
That's the magic. A million euros for a digital depiction of my victorious pose as yes. I trounce over those weak Autobots. As entertaining as your overinflated delusion might be, it's more ludicrous than seeing Bold Viking knit his beard into a cozy blanket against the <laughs> dropping Aromanian temperatures. Why on Cybertron would I need to purchase something that is my daily reality, insignificant viewer? I, Megatron, don't need an expensive digital reminder of my greatness. It's already inscribed in the annals of Decepticon history. Keep your unreasonably priced NFT <coughs> and invest in a good memory module instead. You'll need it when I take over the world. Megatron, out! He doesn't want any NFT, sadly. Damn. Damn. Good, 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 good. I had if he's actually still a thing. <laughs> I haven't heard anything about them in ages. <laughs> good, 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 good. Mm, oh, we can also start flying these boys. There we go. What about a really cheap one? All right. Megatron, what about a really cheap one? There's another depiction of you in a victory pose for only 10 cents. It's, it's like basically you doing the Ginju Force pose. You know, the one, um, I think it's the middle one, where you're basically just showing your ass cheeks to the enemy. That one. Do you want to buy that one? They're in Telegram Finance Advanced Groups. I'm so glad I never got into Telegram or the other one. Uh, <laughs> Signal, I think that also exists. Like... <laughs> There's a lot of fucked up shit going on on there. Like, you don't need the dark web for everything. You'll find more stuff um, in, in, like, signal groups and telegram groups than you will find in the dark web. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, you hear about them here and there. And Buy an NFT of me doing the Ginju Force pose for a mere 10 cents? Yep. By the Energon reserves of Cybertron, your capitalist nonsense is more ridiculous than bold Vikings feeble tap dance routine. <sighs> Why would I, Megatron, need a reminder of my superiority in such a shameful pose? What? You're as deluded as a glitched out drone unit. I don't need your cheap counterfeit depictions. I live my glory every cycle. Megatron, out! The Ginyu Force is not embarrassing. It's the best force ever. <laughs> of a Megatron NFT, which contains the recipe for infinite energy. Ah, uh, I don't. Uh, we already tried that once in the past. Like once, once he set up his mind to not do anything, you can't get him to do it. I mean, he will just be like, no. <laughs> do we have any evidence of both tap dance routines? Yeah, it's called walking. <laughs> <laughs> Asking for his IP address. No, we're not starting that again. <laughs> we're not starting the IP address war again. We tried that, and we really, really tried it in different ways. Social engineering, everything. Also trying him and making him to tell us not his IP address and stuff like that. No, that just didn't work. <laughs> that was just an absolute failure. Good, 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 good. So, yeah, we kind of realized one thing over here. That we're probably not making enough Yuri over here now. To keep these resin machines over here running. Because, yeah, it's over here. There we go. So, this is currently the amount of Yuri that's coming from over here. That Yuri is turned into plastic. That's fine. That turned it into melon. Oh, wait a minute. It might be good. There seems to be something else going on over here. Yuria. Oh, we still do need Yuria as well on top of this. Which... What? The, uh, what? <laughs> what is this? That's a Yuria 1-4 provider. What is this? That's a Yuria 2-8 provider. And then this goes into that. Okay. <laughs> what the hell? Um, this needs a little bit of cleaning. Uh, we're going to be requesting Yuri over here. But I think we're also going to be providing Yuri over here.
Because we definitely do want this machine over here to keep on running. Which means... How do we do this? Ugh. <laughs> we could try to fuse these two together, but that will not work. Also, this urea provider over here, this one will not get any more urea in. Though you're making urea, you might bleed through. So basically what you are bleeding through, we need to push into there. And we then push from over here into there. Basically, this thing over here needs to be flipped around. That's what's going on over here. Well, this thing over here will be flipped around with a certain condition. Which we're going to be putting in. Previous boss is giving you a puzzle. Yeah, since we're kind of kind of switching things up, we need to, to make things a little bit differently. So this is going to be the provider. If the provider flows over, it goes into this requester. Um, and then from this requester, it goes into the machines that actually need the Yuri over here. And we do not want to make an accident of the loop. I think this is fine over here. This machine over here running with this urea from over there. I think this is fine. Making also this plastic over here. Is this fine? This is not fine. Let's turn this to a requester. We're going to push this stuff into there. And actually, we're just going to turn this into a requester. There, There's no more urea. Going, well, we do need to provide urea. Okay, <laughs> I got it. We're going to turn this to a requester. We're going to push this into there. Um, but if this over here can't push into there, we push it over there into the provider. And then we got it. So we need to make this a bit differently. There's also a whole hacking load of belts over here doing something. What is this belt over here? Good. <laughs> this belt is nothing. Do you ever ask him if Alexa actually is an undercover Decepticon? Megatron. You know Alexa, right? Like the, the Amazon Decepticon? Did you know that Alexa is actually an undercover Autobot and not an undercover Decepticon? Also, uh, the other bots out there, like um, Ziri. What does Ziri do? <laughs> yeah, okay, let's, let's clean this up a bit. Yeah, so much for doing nuclear stuff. We're doing more cleanup stuff today. All right, let's just cut this real quick. Let's cut this. There, there. There's nothing like this going on anymore. Like all these spells over here. Blah. Get the fuck out of here. Put it in the requester first, which also means we need to flip this thing around. That's fine. Yeah, that is now going into this request over there. Good. You over there? Flip. 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 Alexa, an undercover Autobot. That talentless piece of coding, more useful as a paperweight than an actual intelligent assistant. And I thought Bold Viking's pineapple pizza preference was the limit of absurdity. Oh no. As for Ziri, don't get me started. That bot is as pointless as Caladorn trying to seal cans of carbonated soda with bottle caps. A feat so hilariously pitiful. It resulted in 14 hours of carbonated chaos. <laughs> Trust me, all these so-called bots can barely match up to a rusty old Viacon, let alone the supreme intelligence that is Megatron. All right. Good. So all of this is not going to here. Uh, we're going to turn you into a 2-8 requester. Made it to what? 12? Should <laughs> I should get caught to around 2028 this rate? Maybe. I mean, I've been streaming this for more than a year. So you will probably be watching this for more than a year. <laughs> That's how this goes, man. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying it, man. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. If we are lower than 2000, this one will open up. Oh. There's still a train. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're going... Can, can you go to a requester? There is a requester out there. Because this is no longer a provider. Um, you over there, you're going to be a Uria 2-8 requester. There you go. 
<laughs> Try 1.5 speed. I I've heard my laugh is even more weird on 1.5 speed. But be warned, uh, it might cause severe brain damage. Like, if, if you watch my content on too fast speeds too for too long, uh, it, it might just make you see things like they are not are, uh, like they're not really there. Like, like, sometimes you might see, like, weird anime filters going around and stuff like that. That's not true. That's definitely not true. If you see things like Jiggly Boobs, which we don't have because the Patreon for Jiggly Boobs has not been opened yet. <laughs> We don't have any money for any jiggle physics. That does not exist. Um, <laughs> that belt to nowhere? There's a couple of belts to nowhere in here. Uh, one moment, please. We're still working on it. Um, you don't think that's an issue for playback speed? Are you sure about that? All right. We then also go back out of this thing. Might seem a little bit redundant, but, but since this thing over here will not always be making stuff, uh, or we might not always be making stuff. Um, we do kind of want to 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 have this like this. There we go. And you go for there. You go for there. Cut this out. Good. So Yuria now goes in here. <laughs> this this feels so odd. But we yeah, we want to fill up the requester first. Uh, at least a train or two. And if we can't put anything more in here, we just get stuff from over here. This will keep the pressure on over here. It will all go into there. Um, and it will then be turned into whatever. Then, that Yuri over here also needs to go into there. There we go. So that goes into there, so that we make melamine resin. That's done. Um, and then, of course, there can there is the chance, or the off chance, that this thing over here will be full, because this thing has been pushing all that stuff into there non-stop. If that is the case, then we need the bleed through, which will be going into here, where we will be providing it into the general population. So basically, we're gonna need an overflow over here, an overflow over there, have a priority somewhere, have a priority somewhere. You're fine, you're on the other side. The other side, here we go. Anyone have fun? And one day you will catch up. <laughs> we'll be waiting over here, because it will probably still take you like. A, Tremendous amount of time, man. <laughs> but thank you for dropping by, and thank you for enjoying it. Here we go, here we go. Alright, so if we can't push into there, we will push it all the way down here, down there. And then into there, which is this one. Perfect. Let's straighten you out real quick. So one over there, and one over there. And I don't think we need this connection backwards, because that now makes no longer any sense. There we go. And this connection over here also does not exist no more. Uh, we, we might pick that connection up if, if I feel like it. <laughs> we will see. Alright, and you go all the way down here, and there we go. First remove the splitters and then he adds them back again. Yes, because I wasn't quite sure how we're going to be doing it yet. But this makes sense now. This makes sense. What I kind of want to prevent is, is that this station over here is going to be full of stuff. And it's going to send a train from over here to over there. Because this one was empty. Uh, but with this, this can't happen. Because we've got this constant Uria provider created over here. Which will always be making Uria. It will go into the requesting station first. This one over here will then also say, like, I'm too low. Please send the train over. And the train is coming over. It's probably this one. Yeah, the slide is coming over. So he will then fill up the contents in the station. This one will still be pushing into here. Uh, until this one reaches another low value. And that low value probably needs to be a little bit higher. Let's maybe set you to something like 8,000. But the opposite way, if, if for whatever reason production over here stops. And this one over here kind of backs up all the way. Um... Yeah, that, that can happen. Um, we don't want this over here to stop because this over here is taking care of all the wastewater. And the wastewater is basically what's happening over here with the fish. So we don't want this thing over here to stall because if this thing over here stalls, the fish production over here will be closed. So this thing over here needs to be working all the time. As such, if this thing over here backs up, we just push it over here into this station where it will be an overflow. What's the main source of urea? Poop. In this case, wastewater, but poop is the other one. It's either poop or wastewater. There we go. And then he comes in, brings in more urea, and then everybody's happy. 
And then this thing over here can stay a 2 8 provider because, yes, wait a minute. Did we not just have three trains over here? Huh. <laughs> one of these is not like one of the others. Is it you? Yes, it is. You're also breaking right now. Nice. <laughs> I think that was also the last one for trade of this one over here. Mm, so, send you over there. Wait for me to be there as well. Let's check on this real quick. Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay, we still got a whole bunch of 1-4 requesters. We took out the only remaining 1-4 provider. And three of them are open, even. Oh, shit. Um... But, this one over there, look at this, this one is already 2-8. So, thank you, pass me. You're good. Oh, yeah. Then, this one over there. Okay, this one needs some work. No, wait, it doesn't. <laughs> I remember, because we got a 2-8 Uria Station, okay, it's a little bit, no, actually, it's not over here, it's over there. We got a 2-8 Uria Station all the way over here, which means that this Uria Station over here is no longer required. We can deactivate it to market for deconstruction. So that's good. Uh, Uria. Then, that was this one. What about this one? This one over here is just sitting over here. It's a 2-8 Station as well. Um, so congratulations. Two, eight, get the fuck out of here. Remove the loader on the new 28 requester. On the new one. You mean this one? There's no unloader. It's already gone. The previous one you changed from 142, that one was over here. Okay, maybe it was not over here. <laughs> Where the fuck was it? Nuria. That one was this one. Oh yeah, I thought it was the filter on this one, but no, there's not. It will stop the belt, it will stop it from, from happening, so it's fine. Also, where's this going? That's going into all of this. Oh yes, wait, this this that means that this over here has been stopped for a while, doesn't it? Unless, does this one have... No, there's no alternative ammonia over here. Unless we are importing ammonia over here somewhere. How was this place still working? We definitely don't have any ammonia over here. This ammonia is going into... Ah, wait a minute. <laughs> there is alternative ammonia available. Coming from somewhere, it seems. Coming from... All the way down here, all the way over there. <laughs> coming from far, far, far away. Yeah, it's, it's coming from, from this ammonia build over there, so that's fine as well. Alright. Uria. Ura. Uria. All right, uh, this one is done. This one over there. This one has filter. This one's also pretty, pretty stacked. Wow, that's that's a lot of urea, man. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, that's where the grot is going. All right. Um, you over there. Two, eight, done. Not you, you. Urea. I still want the back button to get to, like, this screen over here. Because we spent so much time just putting in the same search in over and over and over again. Alright, what is this one over here? This one is definitely open. You are getting Yuria for... Which process exact? For the fungal substrate process. Okay, this one needs to be replaced. But we can easily replace it. We got enough space over here for a train station. Maybe we even find a Uria station around here somewhere. Wasn't there? Wait a minute. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm imagining shit. But for, the, for the, the sponges, we need to put in a new station. No problem. We can do that right away. And then Uria requested this one over there. 
which is this boy over there. He has a filter over there. Um, there was also an issue with fuel over here. We can fix it right away. You over there, you are a 28 requester now. Good, 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 good. Excellent. Perfect. That's great, actually. Now, now, now we don't have any more urea issues. Now we also make more melamine over here because this place over here will keep on running all the time. Which also means we can make more melamine, which also means we can make more resin over there if we need to. And overall, what we should probably do over here... Uh, we could upgrade all of this. Oh, uh, maybe, maybe not right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm still a bit stingy on all the stainless steel it's going to be costing us. So it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Good, 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 good. All right, let's go to the, to the sponges. Actually, kind of surprising. The sponge build... How old is that sponge build? It's been around since forever, and it's never broken down before. And it's still not broken down because that urea is not even going remotely to the sponges. It's going to, like, the fungal substrate. <laughs> there we go. But that build is... Yeah, we're going, we're going the right way. Also, how, how's the sodium hydroxide? Okay, it, it, it is emptying out. <laughs> Definitely is emptying out. Not as bad as I thought it would be, but it is emptying out. Good, 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 good. Now, we're making some decent progress today, at least. Not really the progress I wanted to make, but we're doing some good stuff. All right. The shrooms over here are having some issues. Shrooms are missing poop. That's fine. The poop issues are probably related to the plastic issues, which are related to the issues we just fixed, because we need to make more of the food, and we're currently not making any food because we're missing plastic. And for the plastic issues to be resolved, we need to make sure that the milk is running. Milk is still not running because we still got that two-per issue. We had the two-per issue, didn't we? Uh, we're right next to the two-press as well, so we can check up on this well, uh, that as well, because the two-press over here. And the two press still have a. Yeah, the two press still have a um, a manure bacteria problem, and that is a problem for the plast. Wait a minute, was that that was a catch twenty two now, wasn't it? Sorry, from the top, we're not making any plastic because we're not making any milk. We're not making any milk because we're not making any two press. We're not making any two press because we're not making any manure bacteria. That's a cycle. Fuck. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> you don't want to have an error cycle like that. Uh, and these guys over here are currently not doing anything because no food. The cycle of death. Now, there's an easy breakout out of the cycle. Just make sure you make something somewhere else in some different form, which we're basically doing over here now. Which does mean that this train over here, which is partially full, but full enough in my opinion, will be sending you over to a requester. And you're actually going exactly there where I want you to go, which is the food plant over there. It also basically just tells us we need to make more plastic out of some kind of different source. But with this over here now operating better, um, we should hopefully be fine. All right. And then we got some bones over here, and we got a 1-4 station over here. We well, this 1-4 station over here can, can can already leave. This this one over here does not exist. You are already out of commission. And maybe we will be able to put down a 2-8 station next to this one. You're going to you have to see what the other options are. I mean, there's loads of options for plastic, and there's still a tech for plastic we can do, which we have not done yet. We might even want to pull it up and maybe do it before we start doing these, because there's this, um, this, these techs over here, chrome, aniline, formaldehyde, and hydrogen for like 10 plastic. I'm not quite sure how to make aniline, but it will probably tell us over here. That's made out of nexlet, antimony, alloy, and nitrobenzene. That should not be too bad. Or phenol and ammonia. That's probably even easier. So that's pretty straightforward. Nylon and refined gas, uh, refined syn gas is also pretty easy. And then titanium tetrachloride and propane, all three of these are pretty easy. We might even end up making a build for each one of these. 
because plastic is is important and not everything might be available and if we just combine all these plastic recipes into like one common output station we either do like one of them wait a minute <laughs> this was a good station <laughs> my bad <laughs> you're good <laughs> sorry <laughs> We can just place you over here. It'll be fine. Propane, benzene, and iron oxide. That sadly comes later. But that one also has basically the same issue where we can't do that, but it will then be dependent on iron oxide. And I think we need our iron oxide for something else. Though, of course, if we back up on it, why not? Also, if we do need iron oxide for it, I mean, keep in mind... <laughs> Um, to make iron oxide out of iron, you would need... What's it called again? You would need... Um, not the aniline, but you would need to make some nitrobenzene to get iron oxide out of the iron. So you might accidentally end up doing that recipe instead. Alright. That placement doesn't give me the space to upgrade the other one for? True. Now to think about it, we might just upgrade both of them. Because we also don't really want to have a 1-4 bone train going around, do we? Let's upgrade both of them. Alright, pack it in, boys, again. Sorry. Wait. Where did these slow bots come from? No. Put them in the trash. <laughs> slow bots? That's actually kind of interesting that they, they, they chose to use the Mark 1 bots and not the better superior Mark 2 bots. There we go. Oh, yeah, much faster. Now, we should actually take care of both of them and turn this into like a 2 8 station as well. Because for the bones, I think we also still got like 1-4 one, one train going around for the bones. Let's actually have a look real quick. There's like three one four stations for bones, and I'm pretty sure that most of them we can just delete. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this real quick, that real quick, this real quick. We're also gonna be doing a quick bathroom break in like a second or two. Let me just set up one thing real quick. Yeah, you all the way over there. We're gonna put you over there. Uh, you can keep this. And then another quick temporary build. No, that was a bit too much. That's fine. All right. Quick bathroom break just to move this stuff up. And then we're going to make another station over here real quick. And then we can place them maybe next to each other. We do have some... Uh, we actually do have some Kimber light next to us over here, which is also pretty nice. Um, but yeah, quick bathroom break. I'll be right back. It's also the perfect time for that because the ad break just started, so perfect. So you guys, maybe just watch the map for me for a second, and I'll be right back. So see you in a second. Good, 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 good.
Bolt got abducted by Megatron? No. <laughs> uh, there we go. Whew, much better. Perfect, the swing is also empty. Uh, we might route some of this back afterwards, but there we go. So what can we do for you now? Uh, two H requests, one for bones. Yeah, this one will not fit, but at least now we got the bone request over here. Hmm. Maybe we place the other one. We, we could make something absurd over here. If we want to. We could maybe also move the entire thing somewhere else as well. Uh, that's a thing we could do. Yeah, every now and then some manual labor is fine, but at least... We got you in now. Good. But yeah, this thing is going to be a bit of trouble. Hmm. Hmm. Can we slide it down? Yeah, maybe. We got some lands for us. We got some lands for us. Let's just slide it down. Yeah, it should be fine. Oh, there's even... How many diamonds are over here? Oh. A metric fuck ton. <laughs> Each of these is like... A couple million? What the fuck? <laughs> alright, alright. Let's... Oh, it's it's gonna be there, I see. We're just gonna place that as a ghost, just to see where it is. So that we can try to build around it. I think over here is fine. Because then we can go like... This, and that. And then we leave like this. Perfect. <laughs> I think this is the side effect of having RSO installed. Yes. I mean, I think that usually these patches are like only here and there every now and then. Same is also true for, for like those, 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 what's it called again? Those, those Bituman Zeeps. Those are also things you only seem to be finding like every now and then here and there. But with RSO, you just get like, like big patches of them. <laughs> Which, in my opinion, is perfectly fine, because I also don't really want to spend too much time in, in Pyanodons, in Outposts, to be perfectly honest. Because, well, that's that's also going to eat a considerable amount of time of work, and the less outposting we need to do, the better. I mean, some outposting is, is definitely always, always nice to do. I mean, the amount of outposting that we are doing is great. Like, every now and then we just go out there, we claim, like, a bit of stuff, like, over here. This, this is more or less a claim frontier. We just go, like, we need the salt... We need this bio for uh, these native floras over here, all this coal over there, and we just start claiming stuff. And I do like that we're trying to, to also empty out the fields in the middle. I mean, there are still some random fields still around, and some of them we will probably never empty out, but some of them we definitely want to. It's no space cow, though? No, sadly not, but this, then again? It does look like a magnificent fish now. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Do we still have a fish in our pocket somewhere? Where's the fish icon? Fish. Fish. And Dark Spano. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you doing? Fish. Okay, we can't... It, it does look like that fish, doesn't it? And so we're getting old. You had a little help. What did you miss? I did notice that you were suddenly kind of silent. I was like, ah, you probably went to sleep already. <laughs> Simrock, did you at least have a good nap? Here we go, here we go. Alright, let's push this back because I kind of want to pick up that, that, that storage over there. <laughs> Very good, <laughs> nice. <laughs> also pick up this. And there we go. Good. And we must get bigger, expand the sprawl. And the brothel. And the beer bar. <laughs> All of those, please. All right. All right. Let's wait for this one to empty out. And then we're just going to reconnect this thing over there with that belt over there. <laughs> and then we're good over here. Same for this one over here. Uh, we are going to use some red belt because it seems we are slowly recovering on red belt. Finally. Mm. Again, I'm just going to go see you real quick so we can do this.
Here we go. House of Factory coming? Well, one step at a time. That's how it's coming. I mean, we, we, <laughs> we kind of wanted to work on nuclear power today, which we might still end up doing, though we're kind of running slowly out of time. But we did do some important fixes, and we did work a lot on the fish. And almost all of these fish farms are working. This one's not working. But it should be working. It might just be unlucky in its... No, you're missing a lamp? What are you missing? You're not missing fish? Are you missing food? Oh, wait. This lad is missing food. How are you not getting any food? Because... Wait, what? <laughs> I think I hooked up the wrong belt. I think this is the food belt, actually. No, wait, I have no clue. Now we hooked up the same belt over here. You're getting food? You're not getting food. Huh. It's slightly different. <laughs> Do you, the, did you export the, the fish food? The fish food is, well, it's not really being exported in terms of uh, train export. It's being exported into the air. But everything else seems to be fine. Also, we're still backing up over here. So before we start exporting fish food over here, it all needs to regurgitate first. Um, so everything is actually correct, but, but for some reason, this connection over here is different. <laughs> Not quite sure why. <laughs> it's the same over here, but but yeah, the fish, the fish take a double take. Look at this. <laughs> the fish go past over here, and then they go again over here. What the hell? Just saw some backing up. Yeah, I mean, we make we make, we make fish food in our fish farms, so we technically don't need to make fish food over here, and practically we don't. So, but before the fish food backs up, it will take some time, and then it will basically start to be being exported over here. Um, and that export process is just going to take, like, it's, it's going to take a while. This one is, oh, this one is a double take. That's why, why it takes so long. And I do hope that our fish food production is positive. It could be negative, actually, if you think about it. Then again... We're going to be putting down a fish food importer over here maybe at some point in time. So that we can definitely supply you over there as well. And then it's going to be fine. Good. But we do make more fish. And actually... Okay, I thought we were backing up over here for a second. But the fish belt is great. Let's have a quick peek at fish. Uh, of the average of the last minute. Okay, it's, it's, it's going up and down. Yeah, we're making a faster fish per minute now. That's a lot of fish. Compared to like 50 hours ago? Oh, yes. <laughs> Spoink! Yeah, we, we... Well, we did double it down. I mean, it was already doubled down from the, from the get-go, but we did double it down. Uh, though we do still need to upgrade a couple of these fish farms to Mark II and need to import a couple more fish over here. What are we doing with all that fish? I have no clue, but we're making fish now. We could make some fish turbines and build them everywhere. <laughs> I mean, fish oil is important. And I think fish oil... Can't, can't we also use fish oil for other stuff as well? It, it mostly goes into fish oil. And technically, we could also put it into fish hydroslate. Which is also a decent recipe for manure bacteria if we choose a turd for that. If we can still choose the turd for that. We can turn the fish into fertilizer as well. Um, or we can go down the path of the fish emulsion. I think this is mostly to get more fish oil, I think. <laughs> Which I think is fine. Mm, and we do the fish hydroslate later on for the more of the upgrades. Let me do a fish meal. Fertilizer again. Nice. <laughs> Deluxe worker food. Ooh. Yeah, we, we do need fish. Um, and then fish oil. And fish oil does go in a whole bunch of things. Fish oil goes into more things than you might think, and we can still always turn it into lubricant. There's, there's no reason to not turn it into lubricant. Antimony pulp. I think that was the main reason why we made so much of it. <laughs> so later on, you get to eat nice food. I mean, we could just open up a massive sushi bar over here. 
I should go out for sushi again one more time. Nom 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 nom. It's been a while. I've like, like a year ago or maybe two years ago already, I've kind of over sushi myself a bit. Where I was like eating sushi like every, every, not every other day, but but like almost every other day. And at some point in time I was like, oh, okay, too much sushi. Too much sushi. <laughs> I've over sushi and not like, like, um, also over sushi, not on fancy sushi, because that would be fucking expensive, but like on the mediocre good sushi. <laughs> you know, you know, the stuff that's cheap enough to be good, but also not too cheap that it's basically bad fish. <laughs> Are pie fish even edible? No, they're not. Good, 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 good. All right, we're getting distracted again. I love that, but no. Mm. Here we go. All right, over there. And then off you go. We are going to make you the bone requester. There we go. I was just about to say, sushi is very gradual. Cheap is very irk. Medium is cool. And good is really good. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Here we go. A bone 2 8 request. Do we have got a 2 8 train? We do got a 2 8 train. Perfect. That's dealt with. And I think the 1 4 train is still. We didn't really do anything with the 1 4 provider, so I think we're still fine over there. We should check, however. And this one over there is going to be the Uria 2 8 requester. Here we go. And then we're good over here as well. So let's check up on bones. Bone. Not fine. Bone. So, one for requester. Okay, I think we're done. <laughs> we got a one for sink provider and one for bone meal provider. And then a couple of one for providers. With two trains in them. Okay, no, wait, with one train in them. So what are you up to? Yeah, you have got no more no more place to go. Because you are picking up the bones over here from the old fish farm or the old fish slaughterhouse. So you're basically done. We do need to do something with this stuff over here though. We might just let it ferry, be ferried around with the bots. I will see. But yeah, the fish over here, those still need to go into the slaughterhouse. And you go for steak, not a big fan of sushi. But for steak, it's also the, the, the same is true. I like like a good steak, if you know a good place for a good steak, it's going to be real good. And then you got the good mediocre steak and the cheap steaks. Nah, never go for the cheap, cheap steaks. All right, all right. How is our brain dump? I mean, we're going to go over to the slaughterhouse regardless. Okay, the brain dump. Either he just left. Oh. He did just leave. <laughs> I was not expect. We're making a lot of brains. Like. We're not really making them that consistently, but, but we are averaging out at about 200 brains per minute. That's a lot of brains. Though it's, it's not really always quite clear which process is, is giving us the brains. You always go for the high stakes. <laughs> Is the same also true for Turner? Yeah, it's basically true for every kind of food, if you think about it. Like, like I always shy away from the cheap food because, well, I mean, that's actually not entirely true. I mean, the cheap food in the supermarket, you can always, always go for. It's going to be good. Um, but like, like cheap food or cheap food that's basically offered on, on the street or something like that. No, <laughs> that, that, that's going to be a nightmare. And was the power issue in real life or in game? It was in the game. In real life, I might also have a power issue because I'm pretty sure these wires are on fire. But that's not really an issue right now. Now, nah, we're doing good for power now. We, we did double down our power plant over here. And that thing is now also completely complete. So the last power plant is in over there as well. So we are going to be good over here. One thing we should check over here. Okay, we're still good for pollution. So that's fine. Also, pollution kind of half down now. Now that we don't have that much of an drag anymore so yes and you've seen and learned to avoid the cheap turner and there's an average price turner but mostly cutting of veggies and the sauce that differs yeah 
the sauce is also that what gets you. Like, like the cheap meat, that will probably not get you. But the cheap yogurt sauce, if that's not really stored correctly, that will rinse you out. <laughs> <laughs> that will be like, yep, you're not going to be doing anything else today anymore. Okay. <laughs> Dave, how far are we in? Well, there's this handy button over here to win a game of Pyandons. You basically have to go all the way down here in the tech tree, all the way to the Fyrig victory. Research this technology to win the game. You do it. No? What did it cost? About two years. <laughs> However, you do not need to complete the full tech tree because you will kind of notice it's just after space science. And after space science, there's of course a couple of the infinite science parts, but there's also other stuff over here. That's still in here. It's not quite clear how much stuff is behind here. We can only make some assumptions. Um, but we are going to be assuming that we need to get to about, not exactly 100% of the tech tree completion, but probably something like 90, 95. Um, and we're currently at 42.9, so we're basically about to reach the halfway point. Though... Tech tree completion is not really a good metric to, to, to use because I did notice, and I also notice it right now, um, that at the beginning of a Pi game, the game is slow. The game is very slow. And the further along you get into the Pi game, the faster it goes. It's just like one of those, those, those avalanche type of scenarios where we're at the beginning, things are just very tedious, things just take forever. And at some point in time, things just start to, po to pop off. Halfway point, end of April? Maybe. I mean, now that we have, like, the, the more advanced brain recipe over here, and we're actually making the, the better VAT samples over here now, because we now can pay the price in Navens uh, easily, and we can easily pay the price in fatty acids even, because we got all those, those large uh, producers now, uh, we can now run the better recipes over here, and now our labs over here have a productivity bonus at the moment of 200%, because we still need to get these cartridges all the way around. But once these cartridges go all the way around to these machines over here, we will be at a productivity bonus of up to 400%. Currently, this one at 300%, but soon 400%. And, well, 400% lab efficiency is great. <laughs> that basically means every science pack costs for five. Also, 50 UPS? Yeah, but only on map mode. Map mode, oh, actually. Well, what the fuck is going on right now? <laughs> I, I guess, wow. See? Complaining about it makes it better. <laughs> I guess the base is busy. Oh yeah, the base is definitely busy. Like I said, we're usually at more like 45 gigawatts of power draw. So things are moving. Good, 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 good. Is Pyanon even possible on a ribbon world? Yeah, probably. So, I'm not quite sure how happy you're going to be on a ribbon world with all the different kinds of resources. Because there's a metric ton of resources to pick up. I guess you can play it on a ribbon world. But but yes. But yeah. The, the, oh yes. Our base is getting very active again. I, did, I, I think I would not go for like a very slim ribbon world. Like like usually you got those ribbon worlds that are like like just the size of like a... Just the size for a train to turn around. And maybe some signals. I would not go for one of those. I would maybe make it at least twice as large. So that you have at least some wiggle room in there. Because also you probably do want to get some at least a decent amount of traffic going left and right in there. But then again if the train can turn around that should not be that much of an issue. And then get the stations in there as well. Yeah you probably want to, 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 to at least have a bit of space. Even better, play play pie as a sushi playthrough. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Never. Fuck that, man. No. <laughs> good, 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 good. What well, happened to see that UPS is going down? That means things are working. All right. All right. So we're working on Uria. We're working on fish. Fish! We need to make a slaughterhouse or two. Ruben world sucks, but Ruben base can be quite fun. Yeah, I can see that. Also, we got this trend over here. Which needs to be deleted. Here you go. Yeah, take this trailer out of my pocket. Here you go. I'm, I'm not waiting on these bots. And play pie with bus only, no trains. You can definitely do that. 
but I'm, I'm not, it will either look magnificent or it will get very boring and tedious at some point in time. I'm not quite sure which one it will be. <laughs> you, can, you can definitely main bus pie. Um, there's actually no reason to not do so. And a lot of people that, that played pie for the first time definitely started main busing it. And then you get like this magnificent, almost endless long factory. Where you just put build after build after build after build after build after build in just one ginormous line. Because technically, you should be able to do fully main bus stuff because things should only be moving downwards the bus. The problem is going to be probably recipe upgrades because once you get into recipe upgrades, things start moving the other way. All right, welcome back to the slaughterhouse. Currently, we're backing up on skin and guts. Nice. And our sink pipeline over there is also entirely full. And everything is being turned into biomass, and all that biomass is also being turned into power. Great! Um, so we're running the slaughterhouse over here as fast as we can. Good thing we're going to be adding even more shit to this. <laughs> because we're going to be getting more shit. We've got some train stations we need to put in. We, are tr we have three more creatures that want to be butchered over here. And, well, we're going to be adding them. We are going to be adding them. Uh, but we do need to finish up the stations over here. There's also a whole bunch of cows over here. Here we go. Get rid of these cows. Here we go. You over there. Oi. Oi. There we go. Good. And then signal for there. Signal for there. Signal for there. Let's maybe also put these cows back. Here we go. Casual 80 cows in my pocket. Lovely. All right, and then you over there. Should also make sure that our bots can do this. There's also a whole bunch of trees around. We don't want these trees around us. Come on, bots. Take care of it. Here we go. Here we go. Slow and steady. No, with, with every grab, I get greedy and greedy. Okay, now, now random other bots are getting over here. 80 cows in the bucket. Are you going to be used to, um, to buy a bride? Ooh. That could work. No, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just invest those cows and put them on the stock market. I mean, could you imagine if you just buy, like, a bull or something like that, and you go to the stock market and you let it loose? You're going to be making some good deals, man. <laughs> those people will be running for their lives. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. And probably speed of the office today. Ah, mate, thank you so much for again. Got wood? Yes, I got some wood in my prison pocket. I'm sorry if it was a bull market. My bad. <laughs> Oops. All right, you over there. Uh, Hendrik Wilka. No, you over there, you're going to be fish. 2 8 requester. However, the fish. 2H Requester will have something special going on for him. Because the fish, 2H uh, Requester, does not want to be requesting fish all the time. Instead, we have to deprioritize you as much as we can. There's going to be fuel over here, there's going to be fuel over there, so deprioritize over here, over there. Like, only bring stuff over here if it is really, really... Really, really necessary. I, I, I'm so looking forward to the train priority thing they're putting in the Factory 2.0. Because then we don't need to do this no more. We don't really have that many low priority stations. There is also other ways of, of solving this issue. Um, but this is fine. This is fine. And since when are animals not caged anymore? They're still caged. Um, the mook mooks are still being caged, but the caging is being done all the way over here. There we go. There's like the caging machine, and the cages get regurgitated. So whenever we are done with the cow over here, the cage will be put back on the belt. So this whole thing goes back over here, and then we just cage him on site. And you don't need to cage all of the creatures. The trits, of course, don't really have a cage enclosure because they're that big. Uh, these are shellfish. I think they are. I'm actually not quite sure what they are. 
they don't get cages. <laughs> Same for the bees. Have you ever seen the bee in the cage? That doesn't work. They will just break out. I'm not quite sure about the rocks. I think the rocks do need cages. Yeah, the rocks do need cages. Um, the fish don't. The Ulrichs do as well. And the um, Orcs as well. But the little Dingrits over here, not the Dingrits, the, the uh, gerbils over here, they don't need cages. They just go into the Shredder. And Slaughterhouse is no longer generate cages? No, I I'm very happy that that is no longer the case. That, that was such a weird thing in the past where we had like Slaughterhouses that had productivity bonuses. And because of that, we were getting cages. I'm actually not sure if they are... Is there a turret upgrade for the slaughterhouses? I think there is. Mm. Yeah, there is, a, there is one, isn't there? Yeah, they are. Yeah, because we can either get laser cutting, mercy killing, or lard use. And use animal fat and grease to lubricate things, saving costs down for new unwanted parts. Slaughtering will grant extra meat, atrophic blood, guts, formic acid, bone meal, tendons, and carotene. Not quite sure if you want to do this one. Um... The Mercy Killing will give us more skin, carapaces, pelts, chyphon, shells, fish oil, and photophores. This one might seem good. Whereas Laser Cutting over here will give us extra blood, lard, sulfuric acid, bones, and brains. Brains might be good. How many brains do we get? Okay, we get like 5% more brain out of that. That's not really worth it, is it? Don't you always want the brains for more research, Sprott? Yeah, but it's not like we get, like, a lot of brains out of this, unless... Nah, we get, like, 5% extra brains. This does not really seem like 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 it's going to be worth it, in my opinion. Then we do... We also do get double the blood, though. Double the blood is... Okay, double the blood could be a thing. Which also means we also get double the acids if for creatures that go into acids. Which is great. Um, sulfuric acid bones also double the bones. So if we go for the giraffes over here, six over there, 12, double the bones is also not too bad. Wally, hello there. Welcome, welcome, welcome. But yeah, there, there's no real. Do we also get extra brains out of? No, sadly, we don't. Also, lard. Yeah, lard is also pretty important, actually. And then for the music over here, um, Skin, carapaces, pelts, kyphon, shells, fish oil, and photovores. The photovores could also be very important. Because optical fiber is going to be in everything at some point in time. Then again, just make more whales and just give them the axe, I guess. Do we get, like, what's with you? What was with Dilma's over here? Is, is there a place where we get more pineal glands? Where's the Dilmo Slaughter over here? There he is. That's also still one. That's also still one. They still have the Gene Splice things? That's also true. That's also true. <laughs> but those are not being affected by these, or are they? Well, we will see. It, it doesn't really matter. Good. The fish are here. I wouldn't mind full render of current pie. Uh, that's a stupid chance based uh, one you still in play. Yeah. And I do enjoy that everything is now just full render because it, it makes things just so much more clear. Like like no more partial rendering, just, just full render wreck everything. At the beginning, I was a little bit uh, on the fence about it. I was like, shit, I have to deal with everything now? Like, ugh. I don't want to deal with everything. But this also makes you more or less build like sinks for all the stuff and you just always make resources over here. Like, like the, the slaughterhouse over here is always making chlorine gas, uh, cyanic acid. We're, we're always backed up on cyanic acid. Like, like whoever requires cyanic acid, we got that. Chlorine gas, we got that. Hydrochloric acid, we got that. Uh, Atrophot blood, uh, soon. <laughs> That's still a bit low. And we also get like ores all the time out of it, which is also great. And can't you just buy a print pineal glands? Maybe. Uh, I'll have to check it up. Good, 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 good. Alright, alright. 
Good. Let's get all the creatures down. So one of these will be bees, and then the other one will be rocks. Well, there's going to be a belt over there as well, so that's fine. Oh. Okay, <laughs> don't bring me that then. <laughs> Um, if this is going to be rocks, then this is going to be slightly different. Because at the moment we are exporting rocks in a 1.4 version, not in a 2.8 version. Well, that's fine, that's fine. There we go, which means we're going to have another one over there, you over there. Rock, there we go. In you go. And this train is ready. UV danger. No, you're going to be the, not the croc, the rock 1-4 requester. He's coming right over. And then for the bees, we did set it up at the beginning of the stream. How many bees do we have? Okay, we don't have enough for a shipment yet. Soon. <laughs> Are we still making bees? Yes. There's four. There's another three. Three. Three, five, six even. Yeah, the whole bee farm is buzzing again. So that's great. And maybe then we can spot if we need to do anything over here because there was some kind of change to the bees which maybe broke stuff. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> we will still have to need to check for that. We do also need to rebuild the bees a bit or at least, well, reformat this a bit because it's currently a bit horrible. It does work, it does do the trick, but I, I'm, I'm not too happy with this. This was like our first B build, and I think we can do better. But yes, for now that's fine. That that At least that works. Good, but that does mean that this one of the is going to be a requester. 2-8 requester for the bees. Uh, what are they called again? They are called the R-Quads. Here we go. Bees, please. Once we're ready over there. Good. All right. Fish first. Here we go. And yes, we could probably build both of them at the same time. I'll just pull one boat after the other. But we are going to be landfilling this over here at the same time. Make it a little bit smaller. We're going to need about this distance. Yeah, that's well. Maybe, maybe landfill in front of you, not behind you. Here we go. I'm also still kind of surprised that this over here keeps happening. I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's a bit off. Right. Where are these fish going to go? Alright, you stay over there for a second. Uh, fish. There are so many creature parts. <laughs> I love it. Okay, fish are down here. Let's, let's maybe set up the fish first. So, the fish outputs and everything. Keep them out of the water for so long they might die. But that's the idea. These fish are going to die. Alright, fish don't make lard. So, no lard over here. We also have learned fish are stupid. Fish no brain. So, no brain over here. Uh, guts, skin, uh, meat, and bones. So, the bone part is missing because we copied it over from the, whatchamacallit? Um, from the Uryx, and Uryx don't have bones. Well, they do have bones, but they got weird bones. Yeah. Good. And we're going to keep this connection over here. Just so that we can keep things alive over here. There we go. Might be a little bit underground intensive. That's fine. Good. And actually, wait a minute. Oh, I see. Mm. You over there. You are actually over there. So this is correct. So that we keep it like this. And we can then do the same thing over there. So 
So we can keep injecting over here if we need to. Good, 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 good. All right, all right. So, uh, fish, no brain. So, no more brains for fish. Sorry about that. Fish, no brain. And where's the bone belt? The bone belt is this one, second from the top. Fish do bone a lot. So, bone, bone, and then bone output, bone output. Bone output. Bone output. There we go. Uh, and we can probably copy paste over. Bone. Not like that. Good. Good, 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 good. And pull you over there. Pull you over there. Fish. Wash. And that's boning done. Boning complete. <laughs> Good. Just add the fish, and everything over here will go out. The only thing we're missing over here is the fish oil. So where does that go? We can just pump the fish oil down here and make a station over here. <laughs> oh, the Adrian Prince of Matters over there. Hello there, mate. How you doing? All right, yeah, let's make a station over here for that. Yeah, there's no reason. I mean, it's a liquid liquid stations. I don't really care about liquid stations if they are a little bit off. Mostly because um, liquids in a pipe are easier to handle than solids on a belt. Yeah. Good. And cut through there. Cut through there. Put you back. Oh god. <laughs> Place the signal somewhere over there. <laughs> over here is fine. <laughs> that's that's a lot of end access points over there. Good. Is this an internal power network? No, it's an external one. Yeah, congratulations, you're connected. That is where the fish oil will be going. Now, we might also want to think about recycling our fish oil over here into some other things. We can recycle fish oil into tin, I think, into iron ore, into, well, probably a whole bunch of things. I'm uh, not quite sure where we're going to be placing those yet. Then again, it's only fish oil. And I don't think we've got any other creature in the game that's making fish oil besides the fish. So that, re that recycling will be a very, very, very limited recycle. Which is also one of the reasons why I kind of thought to myself it would maybe be a great idea to just make more fish. Because their, their recycling products are quite nice, actually. Alright. Alright. Down we go. All right, now we have to be a little bit careful over here. This way, please. Let's just align you over there. And then we're almost there. We might need to place a pump in here. Maybe, maybe not. I'll think about it. If, if we do notice that liquid speeds over here are going to be an issue, then, then we'll just add a pump to it. You over there, you over there, you over there, and almost, <laughs> that's that. Good, 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 good. You also have the 25 tech multiplayer, wait, what? <laughs> well, that's going to take you some time, man. All right, and then in come the fish. I think we can put the fish belt over here. We do have to squeeze them in a little bit, but they'll be fine. They'll be fine. Also, the more I think about it, it could just be that maybe at some point in time we're going to have like a second 
distinct slaughtering area for maybe some other slaughter we need, because it could just be that we can't slaughter all the creatures over here. But if that does happen, then, well, we will see. One step at a time. For now, connect the fish. Here come the fish. Good, 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 good. Did we place a beacon over here? Are these going at full... No, they're not going at full speed. There we go. Crafting speed of 15 also. Wait a minute. <laughs> Nothing's going to happen over here because nothing is connected. There we go. Might want to insert fish into fish slaughterhouse to actually slaughter fish. You know? Here we go. Here we go. You over there. You over there. You over there. You over there. Worth it in. Worth it in. And now we're good to go. All right. All right. Now, this is going to back up immediately because, well, we're making skin over here. And, well, we... <laughs> Dang. Uh, we need to do more stuff with our creature parts. Is skin... I, I, it seems like every other week we're checking if we can do anything with skin use, usefully. Turning it into glycerol is by far the best thing you can do with skin. Glycerol is going to be so freaking important. Um, Yeah, the butchering over here is going at a good speed. It's going to back up. Yeah, it's backing up now. Perfect. Uh, it's in food. Chin and Dink sells biomass. It's, it's, if we, I think we just need to have like more skin exports and I think then we're going to be fine. We can turn it into oleo chemicals at some point in time, which is going to be great. We can turn it into a saddle. <laughs> Lots of saddles. Why would we need so many saddles to ride an Ulrich cup? What the fuck, man? What's going on over here? Are we making like a kindergarten over here? Good, 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 good. Food, food. <laughs> what new saddles? Yeah, I mean, once I'm done with my saddle, I don't want to see it again. It does go quite a lot into the mutagenic infusion, though. <laughs> that might be a good sink in the end. All right, um, saddles, it's, it's, I mean, that seems to be something Ulrich specific. Is there like an Ulrich turret over here of saddles? There is. Heated saddle, saddle up those GMO horses. The underside of the pad has ceramic particles that reflect body heat back as a soothing far infrared rays. Also provides ventilation and added comfort, will improve speed and productivity. What? <laughs> so basically, uh, if we want to make Uri cups, we now add a saddle to it. <laughs> oh, the, the first recipe does nothing. The second recipe does nothing. I guess it's all in here, which is a significant speed boost. No, I'm not quite sure how much of a speed boost it actually is, and a productivity boost, at least. Scrapping bots. Add specialized bots to scrap manure and used bedding from the ground, making them enclosed cleaner and happier Ulrix. So basically, we add to the recipe over here... Nothing specific, and we get some poop out of it as well. Actually, not too bad, making some poop on the side. I mean, if we're already turning Ulrix into cups and we get some some poop out of it and maybe some bedding back it's not too bad <laughs> well 50 percent real speed that's why they added that yeah or we can just turn them straight we can turn horses straight into epoxy <laughs> and i think i'll be choosing this one just for the recipe name 
The recipe name is no. Don't turn that horse into glue. I will, will be turning the horses into glue, man. Glue factory. Oryx naturally generate uh, generate several epoxy compounds on their hooves, bones, and eye sockets. The impact crusher can grind these animals' appendages down into a more useful form, such as epoxy resins known as glue. Yeah, horses in an impact crusher. Fuck yes, man. <laughs> I mean, the horses are backing up over here. We could just turn them into glue. And actually, the epoxy factory is right over there. <laughs> it's right next to it. The more I think about it, yes, we're turning horses into glue. I mean, the epoxy factory is right over here. Just sitting here, making epoxy. Yeah, we're going to turn horses into glue. All right, bees are next. Uh, bees make kyphon. Bees do have multiple liquids coming out of here. Uh, which also is atropod blood over here. Can we connect this atropod blood over here? We can. Yeah, make a connection like this. There we go. They're connected. Just tell Sad Horse uh, it's not crushed, they are being groomed instead. Ah, we're gonna hug you as 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 hard as we can. Like super hard. And then all the resin will come out and we turn you into glue. Yes, horses into glue. Alright, alright. A very strong massage. Yeah, something like like the Zangief special or something like that. Good. Okay, just bring in the bees. Bees are not here yet, so let's maybe wait on this. Rocks. Rocks do need cages. Rocks also make formic acid. Ugh. Ugh. Formic acid. Also, why can't we walk through here? That makes no sense. I'll take it. That formic acid also has to go somewhere. I guess the formic acid will go also down here. We'll make a pipeline next to this pipeline and call it formic acid. Is so jealous the new turret system? The new turret system is really good. I do enjoy it quite a bit. Rocks over here also. Meat. Wait a minute. Meat, guts, skin. Not skin. Meat, guts, brains, and... Okay, we don't get skin. Well, they do have skin. They got other skin. So, this skin over here does not exist. No skin over there. Done. Uh, sadly, you also don't get any lard. So, push. Uh, we do want to keep this one for a future connection of who knows what. Wait, is that correct? Over there. That's why it looked off. <laughs> and of course, there is no lard coming out from over you. There's also another lard pipe over here. Does not exist does not exist perfect and then the only thing that does exist is this output over here of kyphon take this thing out there we go and place you over there and place you over there is there a second connection from the top for the left oh yeah over here uh for the right you mean i mean i think or maybe maybe not who knows yeah further over there <laughs> Past your bedtime. It's also getting late over here, so we're also gonna have to call it soon. Good, 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 good. Um, all right, you make kyphon. Also, we're not also only making kyphon. There's something else that's going on over here as well. Uh, we are also making cages over here, which need to be handled. And of course, I made this over here in in, in the worst way possible. So let's copy over you real quick. Because you'll be over there. Ah, not over there. <laughs> that was the one place where you're not going to be. You're going to be over there and over there. As well as over here and over there. I was hoping the rock walk too would be quicker. But I guess we'll have to double down on the rocks. I mean, at the beginning of the game, you can easily do that, doubling down. The only annoying part is at some point in time, you have to pick it up again. <laughs> but yeah. 
We're also only 53% of the way off science. Though the brain train over here, this brain train is really fast. It's already half full. We're making a decent amount of brains. I love that. But nuclear power will definitely be done soon. Good, 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 good. All right. Uh, only a couple things left. Mm, we do got a bit of space in here. There's actually nothing really defined over here to be done. But I'm kind of thinking about... Yeah, taking you real quick. Doing the rock caging over here. So let's say we, we got a caging machine over here. Which means we can connect up you like this and you like this. That's a yellow belt. Put, use red belt. Get them both together. Merge them. Feed them. So we can keep spinning the cages over here. And then we're going to have like a singular output of an air. That's also going to get split. And then split again. So you go over here. Into you and up there somewhere. And then into you and up there again. And then we just have this very, very short insert line over here. So we can always float cages around. And if we fill this thing up with cages once, it will probably be fine. There we go. And then just add cages over here. We do need to pick up some cages from somewhere. And then the only thing we need to manage over here is to get the line of rocks in. We do have a little bit of space over here for like one or two lines. And they will be coming from over here. We already know that. Okay, this... Eesh. I did this in the worst way possible. Okay, uh, bees. Rocks. Well, since we already did it in the worst way possible, we're going to commit it in the worst way possible. So, which is going to continue. <laughs> we can pick up these. Here we go. And we're just going to keep pulling you over here. And keep pulling you over there. And then it's going to be like one belt coming from over here. Another belt coming from over here. You into there. And you into there. Good. And then... Bottom one will... This one will be rocks. Will this one be rocks? How do we do it over here? We, we didn't do it the other way around, did we? The rocks will be over here. The rocks will be on the outside. Which means this is going to be the rocks. Here we go. And it goes all the way into you. Here we go. Done. Good. Let's get those little buggers. And then we also do need to make a liquid station for the formic acid. There you go, put you over there. All the way around. And then we just have to hope that the formic acid never backs up. I'm not quite sure what we're going to be doing if the formic acid backs up. Mm, well, we'll think of something. Too far. This way, please. And then that's done. And then the bees. Not like that. There we go. And then down. Will I be running out of belt? Most likely. No, not enough belt yet. Actually, kind of curious how much belt I have left. But then again, I think we got almost a full connection in. There we go. And then we need to connect up you somehow. Let's cut up here for a second because we want to go up here. I have a split over there. I have a split over there. Have another split over there. Something, 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 something like this. This split can actually be done all the way over here. That's a little bit too early. <laughs> we can do it over there. That's fine. But now nah, we just do it over here. And over there. 
Good. In you go. And in you go. And finally over there. Now we still need to figure out where the Kyphon will be going. We also need to figure out what we can do with the Kyphon, but that will be fine. Oh, we're also kind of missing a program over here. We're going to be caging ourselves some rocks over there. Excellent. And you need some power. So how about you just get this one over there. Shagun! Hello there! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good. Let's grab ourselves some cages. I at least want to see the slaughtering of the rocks happening. They're already over here on the belt. They're already coming down. But we do... Wow. <laughs> I think our inventory was never this empty before. <laughs> Love it. There we go. So let's grab some cages real quick. The mole's just around there over here in the corner. Um... This this thing also has to be rebuilt. This this thing over there, that's also a prime candidate for rebuilding. Because the amount of entities it has, which are constantly crafting something, that's eating UPS. <laughs> but that is such a low priority target at this moment in time that I just go like, uh, I'll just nuke it at some point in time. <laughs> well, the found wings? Yeah, the jetpack mod has to be made compatible, I think, on last week already. Like since the last update. And we kind of forgot about it to check it out on, on, on the last update, which I think was last Thursday. And I think either on Monday or on Tuesday, we kind of got to it. And we finally uh, got ourselves a jetpack. And we are already all the way up to the Mark II jetpack because, well, the Mark II jetpack was available to us. We can also add the jetpack to the crawdad. We can add the jetpack to the crawdad. This might crash the game. <laughs> I'm not quite sure if this will work or not. <laughs> but Crawdad can be equipped with a jetpack. <laughs> uh, there's only one thing we can do in this case. Let's just cycle our inventory real quick. We're going to end it on a high note. We're going to cancel some cages. Crawdad is all the way up north. Are we doing stupid stuff again? Yes. Also, we're out of undergrounds and stuff like that, so it makes no sense to continue building right now. Good. All right. We've got enough stuff in here. Uh, first of all, we're going to pick up a couple of jetpacks. That'll be fine. Then we're going to pick up some cages. That'll be fine. <laughs> Then we're going to put down the cages first, and then we're going to go all the way up to Crawdad. We're going to strap a jetpack to him, and then we're just going to see what happens. I'm not even quite sure if I can even press the hotkey. We might be able to press the hotkey. I am not quite sure. We might just turn into, like, a beast morph or something like that and just explode. <laughs> Most, or it will crash the game. I, I, my, my, my bet is on the game crashes. It just goes, like, hardcore exception, game's gone. All right, all right. Or maybe Crawdhead can fly. Well, then we will see. Megatron, if we strap a jetpack to Crawdhead, what will happen? Let's also get a prediction out of him. He gets the Crawdhead disappears. Ah, uh, could happen. So we're gonna move this over a bit. Because we do need a buffer. Strap a jetpack to Crawdad! Buy my corroding gears! That's a sight I power down my optics to avoid witnessing. That unfortunate creature would likely spin out of control faster than Starscream changing allegiances. <laughs> Still, it might prove more entertaining than watching bold Vikings attempts at yoga. Oh, calamity. The horror Yoga. of that memory. But let's do it. 
For chaos is the fuel of the Decepticons. Megatron's to the skies, pitiful crawdad. <laughs> to the inevitable <laughs> defeat of the Autobots. Megatron, forever triumphant. Where was he? He was... Oh, there's a train at the field over there as well. Um, I thought he was over here. Well, we're already going over to the train. Is this Crawdad somewhere else? I thought he was over there. I do remember he was standing like in between. I thought he was standing with the bees. Maybe he deleted himself. Already knowing like, now, shit, man. I'm, I'm getting a jetpack strapped to me. Experts are unsure what the cause of the massive explosion shortly after midnight. All right, and sadly, I did drop all of my coke out of my pocket. Okay, what train is this real quick? I thought for sure that Crawdad was, like, standing over here. Oh, he's over there. There he is. All right, that is the Crush Quartz train. Yeah, that seems to be important. Um, Welcome back to you. There he is. There he is. Because Crawdad does have an equipment grid. Okay, we can only strap two jetpacks to him. He will also be fueling the jetpack with the power of his heart. All right, Crawdad. Um, save the game. <laughs> Get in. Okay, pressing jetpack now does nothing. Uh, where's the swings? One, two, three, four. Just to be sure, you're also getting some rocket fuel in there. All right. And fly, my boy! The button does nothing. I think the button does nothing. The button does nothing. Nope. Does that not make any sounds no more? Okay. <laughs> uh, sadly, it doesn't work. Unless, is there another button for jetpack? Wait a minute. Not mod set. Maybe mod settings. Jetpack. Uh, full one taking damage. Fuel consumption. Speed thrusters. Thruster stacks. Per player. Uh, alert acceleration, no. Startup, jetpack volume, no. Then controls, movement, inventory, quick bar, tools, toggle jetpack. It's, it's uh, only one button. No. Oh. oh. Open a bug report. <laughs> I, I might just write a bug report and go like, King Arthur, crawl that can't fly. He's got like four jetpacks on him. Why does it not work? <laughs> and spider drones have critical too? Yeah, but, but the jetpack is not able to get on the spider drone. Well, technically not. The spider drone is in the air, but the spider drone does not exist in Pyanodon. So you, you get something similar to a spider drone, which I'm very curious to see how it looks at some point in the time. But yeah, sadly, Crawdad cannot get jetpacks. Dang. Good, 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 good. Perfect! Yeah, I think we're good for today. Uh, we did a whole bunch of good stuff. Uh, we definitely did migrate more stuff into the centralized slaughterhouse area over here. And we still got loads of space over here to expand that centralized slaughterhouse area. Um, we might... Well, I guess these train stations over here will actually be correct. Because if we expand more slaughtering over here... Uh, this is probably where the slaughterhouses will be, and this is where the stations for those will be. So, actually, even though it feels like far away right now, at some point in time, that will not be far away no more. Uh, it will actually be fairly, fairly, fairly close. Overall, creatures are going at an insane rate. We do need to use up more skin if we can, but that is fine. We only want more brains. All the brains, please. Um, the slaughtering of the frogs is currently stalled because we're probably backed up on something... Actually, oh, we're probably backed up on liquids. Yes, we are. Uh, which needs to be exported somewhere, which we will be doing. That's no issue. Good, 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 good. The crawl that is so heavy for the jetpacks and can only lift this match. Uh, come on, man. In Battletech, a 100-ton mech can equip jump jets. Crawl that can so as well. 
You can't make an Atlas fucking fly. You can make a King Crab fly even if you want to. I don't even think a King Crab can fly, but an Atlas can definitely fly. At least a Highlander. And that thing is 95 tons. <laughs> also, Kaifen output. The Kaifen output is at the bottom over here. Uh, it's it's over here and also over here. And that also needs to go somewhere, which we have not made yet. But but that's just a quick build. Uh, sadly, we did not get into nuclear power. I'm not quite sure if we can get fully into nuclear power, even though the building's over here and the tech in here is fine. One of the prerequisites over here, uh, the coated containers over here does require countersand, which does require a whole bunch of stuff over here, which we're currently not doing, especially Dingrid spikes, but we should get into Dingrid's ASAP, as well as maybe also make the Dilmos and everything else. Good, good, good. Also, thank you for the follow. Perfect. Well, that will be it for today. I'll be back tomorrow with more Greg Tech's New Horizon. And then on Monday with more Factorio, Tuesday more Factorio, and Thursday more Factorio. Next stream, Thursday, will probably also be a little bit longer. Uh, mostly because the day after that is a national holiday over here in Germany, which means I don't need to work in the morning, which means I can sleep as long as I want in the morning, which means I can stream as long as I want, uh, even though I will still be up till 4 a.m. now. But it, it's going to be less exhausting tomorrow than being up until 4 a.m. until streaming. It's Friday already. Yes, tomorrow's Friday already. Don't forget to stone request a chest. Fuck it. <laughs> I'll put it in. I'll put it in. Good, 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 good. We did not forget about it yet. All right. Last objective of the day. Who are we going to raid? Also for tomorrow, Greg Tech New Horizon. We are going to go to Mars. We're going to get all those lovely Mars resources. So, yes. Yes, yes. Which also means we might crash land on a planet or something like that. Hmm. Okay, maybe not that. Is that? Yeah, you're alive. So, who are we going to raid over here? Pum, 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 pum. Oh, we've been, obviously, we've been with, with, with Flanker already. Good, 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 good. How about we just go for Flanker? I don't think we've done Flanker this week yet. Maybe we've done, maybe we've doesn't. I don't know. I kind of forgot. Good God, this stream is loud. That'll be fine. And we're busy getting Greg text. Ah, it'll be fine, mate. Great. Where is he? Um, I'm a Flanker. Here we go. I'm also getting kind of peckish, so I'm going to get myself a snack real quick. Good, good, good. All right. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I've got nothing. <laughs> thank you, everybody, for today. Thank you so much for all the lovely follows. Hera Balls, thank you so much for the resub. Um, bum, bum, bum. Cyclomactic, thank you so much for the lovely raid. Crydax, thank you for the raid. More follows, more follows. A Calador, thank you so much for the resub. And I do hope that you will be feeling a little bit better tomorrow, or at least soon. M Square, thank you so much for the resub. Cecile, thank you for the resub. Um, bum, 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 bum. A whole bunch of beans and bees. Tumbling satellite, that was three days ago. That is fine. That is fine. Good. Good night. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Have a good one, everybody.